from Stop now Stop encouraging has. him to blow things when he doesn't want to. <laughs> It's actually a twilly. Skateboard. Skateboard. Everything's I'd, gnome. I'd, I'd, uh, birch. <laughs> it's in the original Dutch. So you, 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 <laughs> Oh, it's a toss up between you two, because you're really, you're both really oh, handy. Wait, know. is this sex? <laughs> Sorry, no. Is What's your good? board? I gave you a board for a reason, dammit. Audio jungle. I'm good at other things. <laughs> I mean, I Except Soma. Nick. <laughs> Out of all of us, he's the one most likely to be killed by someone. I'm going to slow roast you, but I'll put in some veggies for Gus. A lot of wine. He's a walking um, shoe. He looks tender. Oh. Oh. Oh, you oh. Have... Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. So sorry, everybody, for Gus's reckless behavior. <laughs> It's Thursday the 28th of April. We're coming up at you live from the Loki studio starring Stephanie Ben Dixon. Hello. Peter Burn. Hi, little Will. Big Gus. Try that off for size. How does Big Gus feel? <laughs> oh. Fill in the frame. Interesting. I'm Nick, Nick, Nick boy Richardson, Richardson. And tonight on the show, hush, as a nightfall falls over this labyrinthine. Labyrinth, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spire, we set up our Overwatch, for we are the Myth Force. The aces up our sleeve, fighting for justice in these spice wars, and we scream our battle cry, <laughs> Dorf Romantic! <laughs> Good. What was the last, last one? I did with Dorf Romantic. Dorf Romantic? It's the name of video, video game. Dorf apparently. Romantic. Dorf Romantic? Is that Will's Dorf game? Dorf Romantic. No, it's My his game. game. What about the Will game that we didn't fit in? Justice. Justice. Yeah. Justice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, a Vengeance. little peek behind the curtain. I wrote that this morning. I was like, yeah, we go. That's one job off the list. I came up this afternoon. Will's played a game called Justice Sucks. And just a little it. game. Just a little game. A little, just a little Will game. Yeah. A Why Will. are we always picking on Will's games? Your games are perfectly fine sized games. His game picks on itself. It says Justice Sucks. That's mm -hmm. true. Everyone the game title is Will Justice game Sucks. Game. We didn't like yell at Will and go, Will's game sucks. Well, I, for one, Did you say Will's game sucks? Why don't we, why don't we, sucks. why don't we I aim all that be compelling. Will? Mm hmm. Is it any good? It's little. Okay. Um, Aim all that negativity at me. Try helping I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Like, your whole personality <laughs> is built. <laughs> Holy shit. <Fill the, laughs> <fill the frame. laughs> is that the new, like, this? <laughs> well, yeah, but if you do that, you lose your fingies off the top. So I was trying to fill the frame like that, and I went very Auntie Donna. <laughs> like, I, that's true. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot that this was like our panic. Like, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, our yeah, safe yeah, word yeah, as yeah, a yeah, gesture. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. It's because when you, I, it would rise when you would say things that I knew were getting off the rails. That's and right. Nick's okay it. sinking his teeth into somebody's. <laughs> Up we go. <laughs> Little throwback to a previous conversation. That was yeah. private. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the audience are aware. Oh, oh, come on, man. This is full. God oh, damn it. Oh. Uh, welcome, everybody. I see a Vesuvius. I see a Hugaholic. I see a, I see a Spartan 05. I see a Supine Hydra 3. Sith Cat. Dangling. Snuggian. Uh, is the attire tonight Back to the Future? Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm where I have a Back to the Future on. It's only me, though. You're I don't the think only. anyone else is right. I, I have. Just, I'm Sega. Sega. He's just back. retro, and you've got like an old band that no one likes anymore. So that's kind of like throwbacks to things. Yeah, exactly. You got an old shitty piece of art. <laughs> I can do line art. <laughs> <laughs> I realized <laughs> as I started mocking you. <laughs> <laughs> William sucks. Uh, well, hey, Will, how's that game? It's, it's small. I just want to say, I think it was Black to the Future because you were all in black. And ah. then it was a bit of... Oh, bit but of Steph's in blue. Oh. So that, it, then, yeah, and then, Who well, said no, that? Steph's, uh, Who's the that? idiot that's I don't know. I'll yeah. track him down. I'll find yeah, him. Yeah, I'll track him down. down. As I mocked you, Nick, I screamed in my head. It's like, you're wearing something you made. I'm like, don't finish talking. It was Snuggian. Snuggian. Come on. There we go. God damn it. Uh, lots of people. We need, are... we need to have some wardrobe options here so people can change when they're all wearing the same color. You and me a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. We both were going to wear that shirt. I could wear my Toxic Chog shirt. Go. Do it. Come Do on. It. Get yeah. dressed. Hey, we're at 263% on the hype train, which see. is Go. great, but also confuses me in the way that I still... <laughs> We'll talk about this later when I talk about my game. I'm not a smart man, and I'm confused when everything's over 100%. I'm like, but how? Yeah. 100's the most. Like, something can be six times that. Because, because... When I get confused between add 50% and add 100%. <laughs> no, I'm with you. Well, but don't, don't you think that uh, the point is that uh, to get a hype train at 100% mm -hmm. is satisfying, but to get a hype train at 20% is not satisfying? So actually, it's like you got a hype train. You actually got five hype trains, is what we're looking at. Stop confusing me by. Then why isn't it five hundred percent? 
If it's five hype trains. Isn't it? What? what? Oh, no, because it's like thousands of percentages. <sighs> See, we're already confused. I don't know. But do you just get to 100 and then it's like, cool, and oh, now you start again four. from zero? I with think so. The tw- so 200... It's in 63 is... Uh, it should be something 263 more. 263 is 2.6 hype trains. I think, I think it said 263% of the level 5 hype train. Every, they're all 100% of a tier. Yep. And then you move to the next tier, and it's 1% of level 2. But then once you get to level 5, which is the maximum, it's saying you're now yep. 2.63 oh. times Listen to the, the maximum. Yeah, right. So once you get over level 5, you just keep adding percentages yeah, yeah, yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's level 6. My... my base thought there was I hear in the news they're like unemployment is up 300%. I'm like but it gets to 100 and everyone's unemployed. How does it keep going? <laughs> no, but it's, no. They could use a multiplier. Everyone, they could say it's that's three, three times. Yeah. Three times. Yes. Okay, it's three times. That's so we all lost three jobs. We all lost three jobs. I love that. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that because that's my brain also. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad we uh, are on the mathematical I'm, level. I'm definitely happy you prefaced this by saying I'm not a smart man. <laughs> we'll get it. That sentence <laughs> proved put the nail in the coffin on that one. <laughs> uh, good. Uh, excited to be back. Welcome everybody to the show. We've got a fun one, I think. Best show yet. <laughs> that's the shittest that's version of saying best that's show yet. Saying. We've got a fun <laughs> one. Well, I, I said Sorry. we've got a fun one, and then I went, well, there's nothing like there's nothing fun huge in it. it, except for maybe yeah. the shirt. Your shirt's very you good. Say, yeah. and you said you panicked that you were promising something that was never going to come. That's what it was. Yeah, and okay. I was like, well, I don't know if it's going to be fun. What if it's terrible? My metric is always the, the fun, creative things I get to make that week to put into it. And I made three or four fun things this week. So my metric for it is it's going to be 400% great. 400 Because I made four fun things. Yeah, like Based on what we say in our maths lesson, I trust you. <laughs> Isn't it sad that it, it, if you think about it, like up until this very point, and this, tonight could be our worst show, as Steph said, mm. um, but we have had a worst show at some point. Isn't that – doesn't that suck – to think no, but that, we like, know what it is. Yeah, we know what it was. No, it's not that one. We all know it was the one. it was the Dragon Age character, character creator. Creator. I was, no, I was going to say yeah. too. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun for us. <laughs> for us. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Chat took it to a dark place. <laughs> yeah, Chat, yeah, that was really Chat's fault. <laughs> we never took that character <laughs> into the actual game. It was just no. like that character That's was right. cursed. That's well, right. we do have something very fun for the audience. It was the, the early now. stages of our show. We have the antithesis of that game. Yeah, we do. Antithesis of that gameplay coming up later. That's true. That's true. No one needs to listen to us. Yeah. And they get to make a... We can say, hey, it's not easy to make a fun show. Why don't you try? That's us later on. Also, I'm not a smart Why don't you try? That should be a segment. That should be a segment. Where we just get people to... We we hack into... We'll we'll find... Gat, build this app. Gat. Hack into the people's laptops or any camera that's in their house and just we'll cut to it. We should do know. that. Be like, Good. through the, the Discord, seg- we'll make sure that whoever's in the Discord, we can see into their house at all. The time. segment should be more aggressive. It should be like, all right, you try it then. That should be the name of the segment. But what? But I do want to point out, what we're doing is not difficult at all. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you've got, it feels like you're on some high horse about talking about video games. And so... I had to build all those things I mentioned before. That's, that's true. That's, but I don't, they are I, don't, fun. I don't mind as an idea. Look at this guy. This guy knows fun. Look what he's wearing. Oh. As an idea, though, I don't mind this idea that we have, like, 50 people called in with their cameras. Yep. And at any point, we just cut to someone to continue Like what we do with Will. Yeah. You know, like that, that game where you write something on a piece of paper and then oh, fold man. it and then someone keeps that writing is, and then fold it and yes. someone keeps writing. That is you... so chaotic. And as much as I love and trust our community, we'd have to really trust the people that we are cutting to. Mm. Like they'd have to be seriously vetted if we were just going to be like cutting around into the people and they sh- could show anything. Post- it's not our fault. Because it's no, but it's on our channel. Post- yeah, but we can blame them. Can't. We will blame them. I post would. Post we got, we got post a show? great lawyer. Post show we can trial it. We do have a we great lawyer. We can trial it in the post show. Yeah. And she's not just an IP lawyer. She's no. all kinds of law. She, she does, does it all. PP yep. law as well. If yep. PP on screen. Yep. She can law that. She can law that out of existence. Yep. Bree Bree says no, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how the law works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how law works. You just, you just, because laws. As is my understanding, they're just pieces of paper with words on them. So you just change the words, and suddenly, gotcha. uh, what, whatever um, uh, rot uh, rotful three hundred and sixty did on our stream is legal. I've been watching so much social media that set in a courtroom. Evil recently, Dead Ash I'm pretty said sure I'm a lawyer. 
Huh? All my social media is currently set in a courtroom, so I'm pretty sure I'm a lawyer at the moment. James Spader was oh, in Boston yeah. Legal, and you saw that Cronenberg film he was in. So. Exactly. That's true. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Careful. And fairly said <laughs> that <laughs> part was legal as well. <laughs> <laughs> Two consenting parties and one consenting wound. Uh, all right. Uh, also, later on, uh, something you should point out. <laughs> oh, I just got there. <laughs> Get, cut to go. Cut to go. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. actually. <laughs> Good. Um, uh, need to remind everyone that we've got our first Patreon town hall as well, booked in for Monday the 9th of May. We should have video calls in for that, like they do for like uh, strata meetings now. It's like we, if someone wants to suggest I've something in the town hall, meetings, guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll cut to you on camera and you can, you know, weigh in. Like your... a disgruntled um, uh, mm -hmm. town member mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. wants to voice their grievances. Yeah, yeah. Yep. In fact, I think that the Patreon town hall for Back Pocket, where you get to call in if you're a, uh, disgruntled at the, at the tier or above, uh, with questions about like Back Pocket, things that we do, things that we might do in the future, running the whatever. Questions that may lead to but a result. People because people ask us questions throughout the show, in the post show, but these are like directed questions, feedback, suggestions, things we might. People are asking for clarification. Maybe just give another reminder of what the town hall is. So the idea is that uh, we'll do a call in Discord. Uh, it's called a stage? What's it called? Yeah. 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 The stages. Yeah. And so uh, basically it's like an open forum where you guys get to ask, ask us questions related to Back Pocket that's a little more, uh, like, more than what you sort of get in the post show, I guess, of like, oh, what was the funniest thing that happened while you were recording this thing? And more about like, hey, so like, what are your plans for the next 12 months? Or Where's my money? Where's my money? Or like, you know, anything else you could think of. We so might ask them questions. More businessy or uh, formatty. We might ask some questions, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we're going to sort of find out what that is, but basically it's more of a sort of interactive uh, engagement with you guys about like the future of the show and that sort of thing. And we're doing that as a big group and then yeah. we'll play some games. And then we'll play some so, games afterwards. People can so. complain about the specific millimeter size of the overlay border. Exactly. And, um, that sort of thing. And, yeah. and why it should be changed. Yeah. And people can complain about uh, the um, color color on uh, some of the graphics, uh, the, the uh, volume cool. of the hype train whistle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, the, the millimeter size of Will's games. Yep. How? Yep. Very little. Uh, so that's going to happen. But I also think I would love for people to call in with their problems uh, with just their uh, local council or shire. Oh, yes. <laughs> just yeah, like yeah. Oh. there's a hole that hasn't been fixed. Just yeah. general. Just if you just need to vent about anything in your life. Got an old grumpy Is person living happen, in your apartment um, that's not letting you get things done. Or during I'll come the and fill a pot hole. Also asking. This is going to happen during the evening. We haven't booked in the time exactly, but it will be an evening thing because we know that like a lot of you will be at work. So, yep. it, like everyone will be a bit drunk. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe get a little hot. I'll Maybe allow it. Oh, Canberra. Maybe have some edibles. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an old person, disgruntled old strata member having some edibles? They're having some edibles next door. Uh, Vesuvius <laughs> has a problem. They said, yes, please speed up the scrolling names at the bottom of the screen, but slow down just before you get to my name. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good. Uh, good. Uh, okay, good. So, Tux Jog, bang, bang on. Oh, my God, sexy town hall call. That's exactly That's what it. it's going to be. That's yep. it. Um, that's what we should theme it as. We should theme it, it should as be a sexy, sexy town, town hall. hall. That's what it should be. Show. I'll allow it. No, but we're going to sex it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frigid town hall. So oh, can we get some... Oh, can we, put, can we wear costumes? Yes, that's yes. what I'm talking about. Look, Robes, but yeah, with yeah. What, what's under them? What's underneath? You know what I've been... I've been watching... Um, uh, oh, I just finished watching Anatomy of a Scandal on Netflix. Was it any good? Anyone else watch it? I've heard good uh, things. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, it's better get I, sexy. Actually, I don't know if I love it or if I think it's ridiculous that in the high court they still wear all of those wigs like yeah everyone yeah, yeah, still yeah, wears yeah, the wigs yeah. just sitting on top of their normal hair yeah do you know what i mean it's not even like trying to are you trying to fool yeah. it's you're trying to fool with so, that thing it's so my my best friend is like the smartest guy in the world and he's a barrister and he graduated and i take him so seriously at what he does as a work as his job he did sat at the bar and then sent i saw a photo of him and he had to wear the little wig on top i'm like you go from being the most respectable out of all my friends to being like giggle worthy on so, I mean, michelle dockery pulls it off but like when you see everyone wearing it in the room it's just when like, you see a schoolmate wearing oh one you're like man. come on do you on. think so that funny. part of it is that like obviously it was the thing back in the day mm -hmm. but it, since then people have constantly being studying to become barristers and it's kind of back then it was like a signifier that you made it and so then as soon as someone has started studying it's like it well, won't go away that's my thing because i need to out that's it. the signifier that i made it and yeah. there's and, prestige attached to it and you don't want to take that and because i reckon, if, I reckon, if, I reckon if we said no one is allowed to study law for 10 years and then we're starting it up again <laughs> the first thing that would be is like 
I'm not wearing that fucking thing on be my a head. Co- there'd be a yeah. barrister with one a backwards hat. Yeah. Totally. And they're like, yeah. I mean, totally. If I studied law and I got up to that point, I'd be like, no, I want to wear the wig. I want the wig. I want the wig. What else have I been doing <laughs> yeah. all this for? It's all yeah. for the wig. So they've built the good. So the back pocket town hall, there will it's be like wigs. It's like they took away pilot fucking stripes. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Your dad would riot. There'd be the, porn stars the disappointed all across the world. With the stripes. I'm going to wear a Eyes Wide Shut mask to this meeting. Oh, that's nice. Yep. Mm, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. sexy look. I'm going to wear a Tom okay. Cruise mask. Vanilla <laughs> Sky. With a sexy mask on top. I'm going like to wear a plague doctor mask. On it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So sexy town hall meeting booked in for Monday the 9th. Be there and be sexy. Be sexy. <laughs> um, also, uh, I'm going to make a shit flyer for this. Yeah, good. With that on. Ooh, yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, good. Uh, also, stay tuned for the end of the show tonight. I expect that you probably would. But tonight we are also going to reveal the Patreon uh, T-shirt merch item. We're back. We're back. God, I thought she was going to spit on me. Yeah. After the <laughs> last three months. So it's ready to be sent out. Uh, I, saw, I saw it for the first time just moments ago. So that's why I'm like newly excited. That's right. And you had a fresh, very excited, fresh, genuine, like happy reaction to it as well. I did. Yeah. 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 If fun. you would like that happy reaction, stay tuned. Just one of the fun things to expect from this episode. <laughs> There's so many fun things to come. <laughs> oh. That's 100% of the fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With another 300% to, to come. come. <laughs> Still to go. <laughs> Uh, and all of that fun is not possible without the good people at Aussie Broadband because tonight's episode of Back Pocket is powered by Aussie Broadband and we thank them very much for their constant support. And I say constant, this is the last episode of which they're supporting us. So <laughs> the support was constant, but it is now done. Uh, you too could be powered by Aussie. Check out our Twitch panels below for exclusive offers for Back Pocket viewers. If you head to aussiebroadband.com.au forward slash gamers hyphen MBN and there's a link in Nightbot right now, uh, you can see a variety of plans that they have available for you. Use the code Back Pocket. Pocket 10 for $10 off six months of most of their casual everyday and family plans and the code BACKPOCKET20 for $20 off for six months for their high speed home super fast and home ultra fast plans. I've signed up. I'm waiting for my current plan to roll out at the end of the month and really? I'm moving over. Oh no. Why? Well, like that'll, like in five years time, that'll be a net loss for us for this, uh, for this sponsorship yeah. is you've pumped all the money just straight back into Everything, business. Everything, all your wages, all your salary over the last How many percent weeks? have I put into it? Uh, okay. Maybe only like three, okay. but that, you know, it all adds up, man. Yeah, it does. That's a percentage. Yeah. They're cheaper than who I'm with anyway. That's I'm, true. I'm just saying they're good. I don't val- understand. Why is, why? No, I'm I'm just I'm just making jokes. I'm just doing bits. I'm just saying that like uh, that all of the sponsorship money is now just going back to Aussie. Like we're just handing it back oh, on a platter. I see. Yeah. Because yeah, because, because they put money into the show, but now you're giving money. To <laughs> and as very very puts it, because I am not a smart man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but you got to get in life. there somewhere. And Aussie Broadband is the place to get it. Damn right, you are a smart man because you signed up to Aussie Broadband. You could be a smart man or woman or whoever by signing up to Aussie as well. And we thank you for their support, Aussie. Oh my goodness, I still love that animation. It's good. I watch it. I watch it regularly. I enjoyed doing it. It was one of those ones that, like, every little creative idea I had the whole time, I could listen to Snail's voice, and I was like, I can see that. Uh, to which Snail then said, "Are we all faceless pocketies to you?" Because I never turned that pockety around, and I was like, "What a dark place to take it." But yeah, you are all faceless. <laughs> so yeah. it's true. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, go look on our socials. All the more reason to show us more of your faces at yeah. the town hall meeting. At the sexy town hall meeting. <laughs> <laughs> or show us your behinds. Uh, okay, let's move on with the show now because it is time to get into a little segment I like to call. Um, just saying, what y'all been playing? Brought to you by Burry Burry. Burry Burry, of course. Smart lawyer. Smart lawyer, ready to solve all your legal problems. Killed someone? Call Burry Burry. She'll even say, what wig would you like? Yeah. That's for you to wear, not for her. I don't think, would she wear? I don't, she might. Oh, she, oh, you said that's for you But you need to wear. to wear a wig because you're now on the Because you've got to get away with her. <laughs> yeah. So she, uh, you, first thing she does is offer you a range of wigs. I think it depends on the, I think it depends on the crime. Because the I, I think it's wig? only high court that they do the wigs. Oh, okay, right, yeah. But he's saying Burry Burry's going to provide a wig to you after you committed a crime so that you can go on the run. Burry Burry oh, is a, Burry like Burry a, guy, is a yeah. lawyer that has like a, a six season AMC TV. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. She She's pulls up in a alias. She pulls yeah. up she in a van. To hide and yeah. She goes up. boom on the back and it opens and there's like a rack of wigs and she's like, "You're gonna need this one." Yeah. Yeah. Start heading south. Suitcase full of money. Yep, yeah. all that. Yeah, she's, she's got yeah, your back. She, she's got a burn bag. Oh, um, she's got burner phones. She's got burner she phones. Burns everything. Burn wigs. She does. Oh, uh, figs. 
burn fix? Will you burn fix? <laughs> She's got a burn bag and a flight fund, and you need both those things. Oh, I love okay. it. I love it. When you're working her profession. Wow, I'm impressive, she says. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Uh, okay, She's cool. Got burn notice on DVD. <laughs> 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 well, you got to do something in that uh, safe house. There's only one copy of that. <laughs> <laughs> that just was so good, and then immediately wasn't. Was what, that a series? what was the premise? He was a he was like a an ex something, and he had to go and clear up a lot of contracts. Time. But there was also a Sorry. woman who had an Irish accent, and there was like surprise, I'm not actually <laughs> Irish, or the other uh, way around. You mean the. The sorry, I'm drying the conversation of my that's acai the, that's and the passion only thing fruit. I drink. remember. Uh, but but are you saying that um that in the show the character revealed that she'd been putting on an accent this whole time? Yeah. Do you reckon that the that the car the the um creators were like, look, it's yes. been two seasons and we really think you can't pull off the Halfway accent. Halfway through the first season. Wow. Mm, that's it was wild. really soon. What a bad note to Either get from a director. Wasn't, <laughs> she wasn't testing well with that accent and they were just like, lose the accent. Lose the accent. And then wrote an excuse for it. The people the either Irish. hate the Irish or hate everyone but the Irish. We can't <laughs> remember. Mm. I've been playing. Gabrielle Anwar, <laughs> the actress, I believe. Interesting. Is it? Uh, I've been playing June Spice Wars. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh. the video game. I just thought I'd oh segue. God. Usually it's Peter who's trying to keep us on track. He was. <laughs> it's, the, it's the party shirt. It's the party shirt. He's yeah. it's, it's making him loose. Look out. <laughs> uh, you've been playing June Spice Wars. <laughs> okay. I have. Um, yeah, uh, this came out this week and I was super excited to play it. Um, and... I am not a smart man, so I'm not bringing <laughs> this game, was what I was re- referencing earlier. Um, so I wanted to ask before you... Yeah, shoot. This is not normally a game that I associate, like, style of gameplay. Are you drawn to it because of June? Or- uh, June and a throwback to back in the day where I used to play a lot of RTS. Okay. But uh, I would say that uh, those games were simpler. This is more this is of a 4X. It's part of a franchise, though, isn't it? Uh, no... I mean, the franchise being June and the like, there have been so older it's, it's June games. It's not like a new installment of a series no. of games. No, there have is, been previous June RTSs. It, it's an RTS, but it but is not pro- 4X. It's a f- uh, people have been debating over if it's a 4X or um, a, 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 a RTS, um, and there's been conflicting versions of it. I don't play a lot of 4X games, so I uh, was like, maybe this is a bit of a stretch, but I love everything superficial about June. I love the... <laughs> no, like, I'm reading the books, yeah, I love yeah, the yeah. world, and I was like, of all things to get into, this would be one that I'd really like to play. I played a lot of uh, Age of Empires, a lot of Command & Conquer, a lot of um, Total Annihilation, a lot more uh, combat-focused strategy and RTS games. So there is a little bit of that in this, but obviously being a 4X game, it has a heap more to do with the politics, to do with the uh, the management of your uh, your group or your house, um, it is. Uh uh, set on June, set on Arrakis, you take control of one of four of the houses. There's the uh, Harkins, the uh, Ar- 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 Archaeans. I'll try you. Uh, Archaeans. I'll try you. Uh, there's the Fremen, and then there's also like a smuggler one. So there's the whole, f- all four of them going at it, uh, trying to harvest spice and <laughs> 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 just going at it, trying to get spice. Awesome. I'm trying to, st- I'm trying to sum up a very dense uh, game. No, totally. Save it for the sexy town hall meeting, Gus. Sorry, I will. Um, and. Uh, uh, this is in early access currently, and so uh, the one thing I reckon that that has affected is the tutorial, which is something I was really depending on. Is it existent teaching. or non-existent? Uh, it's existent, but it's very bare bones. It is essentially a tutorial of small pop-ups telling you goals, but not how to do those goals or not exactly how to reach them. So, um, as I said, it's early access, but it uh, does very little hand-holding, and that stresses me out because I had, I had to make smart. a lot of bad decisions. Um, but at the same time, I realized how much I enjoyed playing a, uh, I'm just going to call it an RTS, a management game. It's not an RTS. Call it a strategy. It is not. Okay. It's a 4X. It, I would say it's closer to a 4X than an RTS. Okay. Um, I, but I've just been watching chat. I'm not. I'm okay, not cool. Because, yeah, it's like you, what is it? Explore, uh, exterminate. exterminate. Uh, expand. Uh, expand ex- and the other one. And ex- Explore. Expand, Ex- exploit, 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 expand, exploit, exploit, yeah, and then exterminate. Yeah. Yeah. Like civilization. Toast. If you're a Civ fan, I'm sure this you'll you'll fall into this uh, like a hot bath. But for me, I'm currently like, oh, I'm I'm doing all the things I do in RTSs, which is just make a lot of military units and try and move across the map and explore really quickly. Exfoliate. Um, but exfoliate. 
<laughs> but as, as much Fully as the him. as much as the tutorial isn't great uh, or is very uh, is still quite vague, I really enjoyed making a bunch of mistakes, starting a new game, learning from those mistakes, and incrementally making progress as I expanded on what is a very I just love it. Just I love this setting, being in this like very arid, it's beautiful, very interesting it? looking space. Is, that there, is, is there much storytelling to it, or is it more? I mean, it's it's like Civ. It's the stories you create. There's alliances. There's yeah. heaps of uh, there, there's uh, heaps of interactions in terms of the other houses reaching out to you to like trade resources. Um, there's some very strong sort of political swinging in the sense that you need to. There's a vote every month that comes up, and you can vote for things uh, that might give you your get house to an shout advantage. Shout scarily at people and compel them to do things. Um, not that I've run into yet, okay. but uh, I'm sure you you could do that. You get to float to the roof and go. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> But it is, it's, it's really, uh, I'm really enjoying just that element of the things I've forgotten from playing strategy games like this where you're managing your own uh, resources. There's a lot to take in. You're managing water to keep units alive. You're managing spice, which can be sold for crom or chrome, which is the currency that has is being traded on like a stock market that fluctuates. Um, so you can get really bogged down and lost in your own management. And then that wonderful moment where just like, six little units just walk out of the fog of war <laughs> and you're like, ah, oh, shit, yeah. I forgot about this. And you've got to like quickly build enemy units and try and combat them. That has been simplified in terms of the, the actual movable units on the map. It's all just little pods of four troops that you make. Uh, so it has. it's not like you're taking control of huge swaths of armies and moving them around. It's mm. like, it actually is, I really like how it's all laid out quite simply. I think being in a desert, that makes it quite easy to just distinguish what's being moved around. And then when you zoom all the way out, and I'm sure other Forex teams do this, I just love how it just grids everything yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. like, okay, here's what I have a foothold on. Here's what I need to move into to, to yeah. And is it heavily military focus no that's what i mean it's like i'm i started playing thinking it was and it's like no you do need to okay. really just go hard on resources at the start make sure you're not getting screwed over in the votes putting forward uh there's like an there's the three extra layers to it are there's sort of diplomacy that you do through votes there's an espionage system where you put agents into different tiers that are either like you're uh, in the other houses to try and like get advantages over them or into like uh, producing spice or producing materials and that kind of thing. So you allocate agents and spies. So there's espionage and then there's just a talent tree that you just consistently come back to and you build out a talent tree in different um, or a skill tree, I should say. So I find that I'm kind of terrible when it comes <laughs> to like StarCraft or something where mm. I'm micromanaging a bunch of stuff. Mm. But when I played Chris Hader Kings 3, for example, and it was all just like diplomatic relationships and backstabbing, I was yeah. like, oh, this is way more... The strategy. I've yeah. heard this is still He's lighter in that department. Not someone who hadn't played Crusader Kings and doesn't play Civ. <laughs> For what I find dense, people might be like, "This is a lot more manageable mm -hmm. than you know controlling." They're super the Moorish as well. These games. It's just like you, you uh, get really involved. I find. When I played Civ for like eight hours straight and then I installed it never I again. Do. Well, this is the thing. <laughs> each each round can play upwards of I think like three to five hours, uh, and because you've got all four houses or four groups yeah, all cool. moving around, it's like you can play it for a long amount of time and be like, "Am I failing horribly, or have I got a chance of this?" Because the win state is not just eliminating all the other houses; it's possibly becoming ruler, which is like you might get voted in. Um, I haven't really explored that level of, um, as I said, the sort of politics of it all but it is there to be like oh you can win by not building any military units you can just mm. go resource heavy you can make a lot of money you can outvote everyone and you can trade with everyone and to the mm. point that you are successful so in uh, that sense i'm really keen to learn a lot more about it whimsy bovins and vesuvius in the chat were just talking about how forex and rts games are a huge blind spot for us as like mm. a show yeah. yeah and it is and which is totally true it is a, it is a genre that I constantly want to play. I want to get into these games and I just don't have the brain for them. Mm. And you're I not definitely dumb, don't, but and I'm so it's if like, you're enjoying this, then maybe this is, you know, I baby's am, first 4X. I think so. And I'm being carried through the aesthetic and the style of it all, which is that I there is something beautiful about uh the clearing the the fog of all, which here is represented by like dust clouds of sand the moon rises over the dunes and you get glistening sand everywhere it's like i actually really like they've gone for a pretty clean simplified cartoon art style but i think it really plays like mm. especially in the character i love the look of it for sure it's really nice it's not super detailed it runs super smoothly uh which i mean there's not a lot happening but i was just super impressed by how it's like a four gig game 
uh, and it runs super crisp and fast. And yeah, I, there's just a lot of micromanagement that I have not got my head around yet in the six or seven hours I've played. And I'm like, cool, I'm ready to... I'm frustrated when I get to a point that I'm like, start a new map and everything, you get fresh again. You're like, okay, I'm going to get it right this time. Mm. I'm going to put everything where it needs to be. And from what I can tell about the map design, <laughs> I think it's um, procedurally generated. Um, but booting up a second one and then exploring a village nearby and being like, I like this map better. This is cool. So I, um, it's, yeah, it's impressive on all levels and I want to get nice into music? it. Is that nice music? Is that cool music? Really or? sick music. I, I love that maybe it's drawn from the, uh, the recent film, but it has this like 80s dark synth tone notes, which... Does it have any of this? <laughs> no, but I know what you're referencing. It's far more on the synth level of like... <laughs> a lot of that stuff, oh, yeah. which is cool because... You I'm, should pop up. Like a like a, like a <laughs> switch alert in the game. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Like, like well, Jim, Jimmy Barnes over the dune. Yeah. <laughs> when you like click on the the voting uh, part of the game, there's a female voice that goes like ha ha, <laughs> and, like does actually. Dry. So you're kind of right, actually. Right, but perfect. I love that June carries with it because it was. I don't know when it was written, but because there was a film made in the '80s and then another film. It's like it has with it a kind of retro 80s vibe to the sci-fi of it. So it sounds like that and it looks like that. And yeah, it's, it's very cool. Um, but I want to get better at it. I want to fill yeah. that blind spot. Cool. Um, so this was really enjoyable. I then checked out a game last week uh, that came out called Myth Force. I believe is the title. Yes, I was about to say Mythic Force. Uh, Myth Force, which is a co-op first person um, roguelite dungeon crawler, I guess is the best way to put it all together, that has uh, a very cool art style that is, is a throwback to a Saturday morning cartoon, more of your He-Man and your Thundercats kind of vibe. Um, Actually, I did download the intro if you want to see something. Yeah, if you've got a little bit of it to play, this, like, as a tone setter, as a reason to play it, crank the sound. I was like... Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> but it has lyrics and everything. Oh, yeah. So there's four heroes you play. It's a hero-based shooter. Oh my gosh. It's good, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Amazing. How did I forget the name of the game? I couldn't... Oh my god! Oh. I should download this track. <laughs> and it goes like that would have been enough. Oh, shit, but they keep going. Yeah. But now I just want to watch this show. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this has to be the best game to come out this year. <laughs> it's pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Devastating. It's not great. Uh, all real, style? No um, all style, no substance. Mm -hmm. It is also in early access, uh, so, you know, take that with a little grain of salt. But it is a fairly clunky, fairly sluggish... Uh, <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> going for that intro <laughs> and then just this slow <laughs> doink. That sums it up perfectly. Um, it's look, it's made to be played cooperatively with up to four, I believe. Uh, it's hero based, so it's like you'll pick someone with uh, you've got a bunch of hero powers that have cooldowns, and then you move into these sections of uh arenas which it's essentially procedurally generated with tiles so you'll see the same room again uh, and you just get swamped with enemies and you move through it pick up currency pick up uh, and pick up weapons earn xp level up and take that hero slow does it's it? so strange how it feels to play um it is what like is about? this isn't even my gameplay but this is exactly how it looked and felt on mine and um, you can't just like increase mouse sensitivity and but i suppose that's not going to help you that doesn't help the character yeah, yeah. I, I i haven't really got far enough through it to see if maybe that's something that you keep leveling up and until you have a super fast twitchy fast that character right. but that would be very yeah. odd and also add to that the fact that there's a really unforgiving stamina uh system set up so you've got health mana and stamina even this speed that they're running at right now, that's holding shift and that stamina thing runs all the way out. When it gets near the end, screen goes blurry, character starts puffing, takes forever to come back again. Oh, no. And you're like, so moving when no enemies are around sucks. Fighting, swinging your sword, shooting your bow, all uses stamina. Um, it turns into a game where you essentially kite some very crap AI around these areas um, <laughs> and use a couple of abilities and then essentially you just make a conga line of wonky 
enemy types as you clear it to move on to the next space. The hitboxes on things don't feel particularly good. Yep. If you play as a ranger here... That's a nice um, level up graphic, though. That like looks that, cool. That looked yeah. nice. The art like department did a great job. Um, I pl also played through as a ranger because I thought this game would be more fun with a bow. The other three classes are all melee focused. And again, it's that really... It's hard to do first person... Uh, melee combat mm. and this isn't great either you swing through the air you're not quite sure what's connecting you've got charge ups all that sort of stuff everything else about it looks and sounds great but it just feels so shit to play it's like moving through molasses and uh i did not play with anyone else but i watched a few <laughs> other people's uh, rounds where they played with three other people and that's fine it was not game changing though that's so sad yeah but i, I like, watched friends have fun no no it's in like i watched a youtube clip to see if it looked like a substantially different game yeah, yeah, yeah. i played uh, a lot of shit games but had fun with friends i th is there a feedback form <laughs> there actually is like uh straight off the bat there's did like you, bug did you type make it faster feed, there's, please there's bug reports i couldn't get it running on one machine i had to there was a bug report screen that i actually mm -hmm. was like it won't work for this reason um and again yeah it's got potential in terms of that style but the game just does not feel very good and yeah. uh yeah it sucks because games like risk of rain 2 and stuff where you can just go in solo and just want to build up that skill tree or just want to ch just mm. churn through enemies to level up and level up there are things like totems that you can spend currency on to get buffs and things like that but it just doesn't scratch the itch the same way the snail it says just... it's like a dream where you can't run faster it's so true where you've got like paralysis yeah go go it's also just the energy of those shows in just in terms of like a vibe they're yep. sort of like yeah. over the top and if that's the if that's the tone they wanted to set, they, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's it's a shame to really have to like yeah way. criticize something so heavily for just its basic movement and sort of existence. Well, yeah, it's just its weapon speed, all that kind of stuff. But it does not feel good to play, and that seems to be the consensus. On what are you ultimately well. trying to achieve? <laughs> You're playing through procedurally generated dungeons that you dungeons that are like. You'll get module pre-existing modules that get clicked together and then it's like get to the end of the level. Yep, and get a bunch of gold and get a bunch of XP and carry that through the next run and do that. And it's run way. based. As soon as you die, it's like it's roguelike in that yeah. sense. Yeah, uh, rogue light in light. the sense that you're carrying through XP and uh, yeah, that, right, that character gets, that hero gets leveled up. So maybe you yeah, okay. turn into a boss character that can come back anytime and be really good, but I just didn't have the patience to get through more than like three runs where I was like, this is really not that fun. Can we... Talk about a different game because this game yes. is stressing me out. So, <laughs> I, just, it is uh, like when I was looking, totally. people in chat were like, it feels like it's running at half speed. And I'm looking at yeah. it going like, oh, I need to stop <laughs> seeing this. It feels as bad to play as it looks. Um, okay. So, I, uh, to finish off, needed to play something a lot more fun with just as much style. And I stumbled across a demo for a first person shooter called Fallen Aces. The demo's been out for a while, but the game's still not out. Uh, I think it's planned for release later this year. Uh, it's by a small team that are essentially have made a, uh, a first person shooter in the vein of Duke Nukem 3D. Um, uh, he hex and all those kind of fast moving, very slidey, very slippery movement games, but it's set in a uh, noir city during the yeah. 30s or 40s. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's incredibly fun. Um, it's it's just it like it looks a bit dark and dodgy to begin with, um, but the character models, all the um, all the animations as you move through it and end up getting in these fun little like. Uh, Biffo combat scenarios because you're getting to a nightclub because there's a dame there who's gotten too much information and she's in trouble and you have to save her and she's actually a badass and all this kind of stuff. The voice acting's great. The little comic cutscenes cut in between are really endearing. But the actual combat itself is really fun because it's a brawler. It's not really a shooter. And so you spend the whole time running around actually picking up bottles, throwing down uh, other objects to kind of kite enemies into. And you'll run into an area if you skip forward a little bit, Will, thanks. Um, yeah. You, have these scenes where you get a bunch of goons all coming out, all throwing every cliched line in the book at you, like, oh, my nose, what are you doing? And, and you are totally doing, like, the, yeah, the 1910s the yep. oxen. Yeah. It's proper yeah. fisticuffs. There's, like, finisher moves where you do, like, a spinning kick or you grab them by the scruff of the neck and you're like, get out of here. Funny. Um, it's just like, yeah, that barrel and things are hilarious. But you can, um, you can for instance, uh, get a health pickup, Steph, you'll love this, by... Eat, drinking a can of Coke or eating a banana, which leaves a banana skin. I was like, hmm. oh, threw that down oh, and then waited, banana. waited for a character to come over and a big orchestral, uh, when he slips over on the banana, a big orchestral like, Woof! as yeah, he goes perfect. down. Like there's some really <laughs> cool style and, um, in this. I'm glad to see Tactical Banana making a, um, <laughs> a, a frequent appearance in modern games. Oh, look, it's, it's just like they're having fun with it at every point. Um, and... It's brutally violent, like heads are exploding and like the hand-drawnness of all the character models and stuff is really 
pleasing. Um, and yeah, it's just fun to be have a game that's this loose but set in a, um, a fun... Yeah, very pulpy, very noir style. And again, well, if you skip right to sort of a bit later on, um, or even this, it's just like, yeah, it, it, it looks janky, but it's really yeah, satisfying. Yeah, all the punches and all the like... Oh, extra, all oh the, and he's tiny now. He's tiny, you punch, him, you punch the height out of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's so forgivable for all those little extra, like, you know, janky bits of uh, development from two people who are just having fun with an old engine. And uh, yeah, there's a free demo out. You get like a good hour or two of gameplay in it. And I'm going to play the full version when it comes out. It's, it's, oh, there's a free demo, you said. The, yeah, yeah, the yeah, demo cool, is cool. free. And there are elements of, I would almost say, Bioshock uh, in terms of the combat where you're like there's a room full of four guys you're like all right i'm gonna pick up that bottle throw it at him uh just that like sort of maybe it's just because you're swinging a metal pipe but it has a sort of like it's an action puzzle yeah it's an action puzzle that you gotta juggle who's in front of you and and how you're gonna get through the room and then when you do find a find a tommy gun later on you can't help it and just go a tommy gun and you run into every room and just blast them all down it's mask. Just, we should, yeah. can we just watch a mask that, that could mask? be a gameplay oh my god that would be so good could we do that <laughs> that would be so good should we do that <laughs> we it could gave me that. nightmares when i was a kid uh, but it won't now it won't now no, it won't so now right a perfect feature I know. A perfect feature film. <laughs> I would love to do it. Can we do a mask watch along? Yeah. I would love yeah. to do that. Yeah. I would love to. I would love to watch Will, the mask. Will, have you seen The Mask? I have seen The Mask. And I've seen The Son of the Mask, the great. Oh, oh okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, but yeah, it's heaps of fun and it's a free demo. So uh, play that. Don't play Myth Force, unfortunately. Until Myth Force gets an update, maybe. Double, double speeded. Yeah. Uh, cool. Good. Good. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, true to you, banger art choices this entire. Thank you. Gameplay list. I mean, that's what I'm drawn to, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Good thumbnail. Uh, just about looks. Uh, okay, I have played a couple of games this week. I really wanted to play Isle of Big Snacks, the Bug Snacks update, uh, but it yep. didn't drop. I think it drops 10 o'clock tonight or something. It may be out now. I yeah, and by next week it won't, it'll be so old it's probably not worth talking about, so we can just forget about it. You're the only person. Uh, you should play it because, like, you were I did play it. I played in, played a segment, in a segment, in a segment, we're yeah, calling <laughs> everyone talked <laughs> about bug snacks. That can be the segment name. <laughs> Everyone's talking about bugs. No, no everyone talked about bugs. About bug no snacks. one's talking. God, it's good. I can't wait. Uh, so instead, I played um, another game that I've played before, uh, kind of, and that is Overwatch Two, the beta. I have put in about an hour to this now. I'm only going to talk about this for a very short amount of time because I'm not qualified to talk about... I used to be qualified to talk about Overwatch. I used mm. to play a fair bit of Overwatch. Really yeah. enjoyed Overwatch. Your glory days. Blizzard were throwing yep. some money seven's way, so you pretended you knew a lot of yeah, Overwatch. Yeah, by the time I pretended what was going on, and oh, hell yeah, let's go to this <laughs> eSports. I love eSports. eSports. eSports, e Australian eSports. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> but uh, now uh, I played Overwatch 2 and... I think I played Overwatch 2. I may have accidentally played Overwatch, played Overwatch 1, 1 and wouldn't have noticed any difference <laughs> uh, from my perspective because it's been so long. Uh, the, uh, one of the big differences in the beta at the moment, there's, uh, it looks like they have all the characters in there and some maps. They've got some new maps. Um, they've gone from a 6v6 to a 5v5. They've removed one of the tanks. So it's one tank, two DPS, and two healers. Mm -hmm. You have to have those. Are they new um, characters, though, or are they just adding... Some new, but yeah, okay. uh, the... The new characters, I believe, are also coming to Overwatch 1 as well. So Overwatch 1 is kind of going to be on parity. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I'm still yeah. not entirely... I, I, I should know. In fact, I think I did know, and then I just deliberately forgot, like, how that is going to work. I guess, you, I guess you'd want to see if 2 takes off before you let go of 1. But then it's yeah. like, will anyone really embrace 2 completely unless you force them into it? Yeah, I don't know. If they're comfortable in one. Um, but well, with this one, so I had fun, but I did not, I didn't, like, there's nothing meaningfully different about this so far. Now, it yeah. is the open beta or closed beta at the moment um, uh, that you can get into. Uh, and, but when I was playing it, I was like, this is fun. All the Overwatch stuff is here, but th there's a couple of new modes. They're still kind of exactly the same as the old Overwatch modes. The characters have had some reworks, but they're still kind of, it's all inherently the same thing. Yeah. Now, this is not, there's a new Call of Duty comes out every year and I'm not sitting here going, oh, the multiplayer is just like the old Call of Duty. That's what it's supposed to be. Mm. But it, I think because they made the big deal about 2, about this is the big thing, we made a sequel to this thing. Uh, obviously, they've got this single player stuff, this story-based content, which we're not seeing right now and it's just the multiplayer. So, Is it in a different <clears> engine or anything? Like, why make a sequel? We speculate about that a while back. I believe it's yeah. an updated engine, but yeah. it's the same. Yeah, it's like... What's the benefit <clears throat> of making a sequel over just being Activision like, wanted more money yeah. and you can sell a two. You can sell a two. 
Got it. And you're putting out story content so you can wrap a multiplayer around the two, but keep them one multiplayer kind of on parity as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I played a bit. <clears throat> Sorry, my cough. Um, oh, they're adding a single player campaign. Okay. But yep. the um, uh, it's still it still just feels extremely Overwatchy in a way that I was like, <clears throat> when this was 2016 or 2015 or whatever, this was really fun, and now. Not that I want this to be a battle royale, but I feel like so much has happened in the shooter space mm. in the last six or seven years mm. that when I jumped into this, I was like, oh, this still feels exactly the same. It's still incredibly messy to look at. Like, as I was, I was like, oh my God, there's so much stuff happening. What <laughs> am I, it was like, am I hitting anyone? Am I making any contact? Am I making any impact? This was the game that everyone was streaming. It was until huge. Until Fortnite came out. It was huge. Everyone who, who streams Fortnite now started on Overwatch. It was the, it was like the shooter that I loved. Uh, presumably you'd lose all the skins you had on the first one. No, my skins were all there. Like I, oh. I, yeah. I got Mercy and she's dressed up like a witch. And I was like, oh, that's right. God. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I like, I'm sorry that I don't have anything meaningful to say, but I'm kind of racking my brain. That's the game's from, fault. <laughs> from a first glance, like yeah. Yeah. there will be so many changes that have happened that people who play Overwatch will be like, oh, I noticed this, this, and this. But from like, why, why make this purchase? Mm. For me, I was like, oh, I don't, yeah. I don't see anything here that is like meaningfully different at all except the, for 5v5 yeah and like the people that are playing the pvp at the moment in overwatch one uh i'm sure going to want to move across to this anyway because mm. it's going yeah. to be the more supported game totally. going forward uh and probably has the back end scope to add more stuff that maybe the original build doesn't uh, just, but but I'm ultimately playing the single player well, that's the thing. Ultimately, it's like the people that are going to come to Overwatch 2 are going to come to it for the PvE and the single player stuff, which they're not showing yet. They're just is there demoing. single player co-op? Do we know? I believe it is. I think it is. Yeah. I think it's kind of. That's do cool. you remember those? Overwatch did some. They did a bunch missions. of bots kind of things that they started near oh, the. Oh yeah. I was going to say that. near the end of one, but it's one still exists. They did bring in a bunch of game modes that were like you'd fight off waves of robots and it was just like hey here's a chance to do something else that's not the multiplayer yeah. Yeah. it was mildly successful the way like you know tf2 and stuff does heaps of um <laughs> pve stuff now but yeah yeah and I mean, like there's an audience there that they're not talking to with a pvp mode that they could capture with a pve mode all that battleborn crowd i was just Ooh, about to say yeah. battleborn <laughs> i loved battleborn it was totally serviceable, but it was it didn't feel as good to play as it, Overwatch. It was it, terrible. It, it, so, didn't, it didn't. Yeah. It didn't feel. And it, but it had cool. It had fun sort of tower defensey stuff that made it. I feel like a little bit more interesting to play for someone who isn't um, great yep. at yeah, that exists. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, I I will continue playing this, and if I notice anything meaningfully different for me, a very lapsed Overwatch player, I'll let you know. But in the meantime, it is kind of just like. It's it's not uh, to me. It's not even Overwatch 1.5. It's like Overwatch 1.1. It's really just mm. like oh, we made some tweaks. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm way keen. Is this in a how long is this beta running for? Is this do you know? Running until like mid May 19th or something, and then something else is happening. Whether it goes open or something. Yeah. And then <clears throat> is there a release date? It's still just slated for later. No, not yet. But yeah. but I imagine Question like I, I would not be surprised at all if they surprise launch this game relatively soon like at the end of this beta run well you gotta yeah. the beta also carries with it a level of fa like you know uh, hype that people are now talking about totally you can't they're pushing that this. lapse yeah if you yeah. if you put too much of a gap between now and the actual release yeah uh so yeah so that's uh that's the overwatch 2 beta and uh yeah and it really was just like playing overwatch 1 um but something that i have been spending so much time in this week and i'm so happy to be playing again is slay the spire because uh so first of all slay the spire a phenomenal game. Just such a great deck building card game. It is so much fun. If you are at all interested in any kind of deck building card stuff or just fun roguelite style thing, get this game. It's fantastic. Um, the new oh, the new thing that we've got uh, out now is something called Downfall, and this is a um, massive mod that has been sort of like officially released by the community that made it. It's on Steam. It's kind of like its own executable that you can download for free if you have the, uh, the base game. And it is it adds one character that you can run through Slay the Spire with. And then it also adds an entire new campaign with five or seven new characters as well uh, that you uh, – and like a full-on like story-based campaign. The really cool thing about it is it kind of – 
it reverses what Slay the Spire is. So the idea with Slay the Spire is you're this hero, you enter this dungeon, and then you work your way to the top of the spire, uh, and sort of up, 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 and you beat all the bosses, and then at the end, you beat the final boss. Hooray, you did it. Um, and then you, why is Gus crawling on the ground? <laughs> you could have just walked. <laughs> no. I just um, crawl. <laughs> uh, the, what this does is you play now as the bosses from the base game, and you are you start at the top of the spire, and you're told someone is breaking in downstairs, <laughs> and you need oh, to right. fight your way down to try to kill them. Uh, and then when you c- come up against like the final boss of each stage, it's a hero character, and you see like their cards, the artifacts, the the like the power ups that they've collected. They have the mana, like they they fight like a, you're playing a player, yeah, cool. uh, which how, is really cool. How do they get past? And this is very nitpicky. Please. The fact that the hero that got higher in the tower would theoretically be the strongest hero you would face. Yep. And you're facing them first because you're going the opposite direction. Yep. And that doesn't make sense from a gameplay perspective to make it really difficult at the start and yep. taper off to being super easy once yep. you get to the base. I'd like to play a game like that. Um, <laughs> That'd be really satisfying. It just gets progressively easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> they work around that by not giving a shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the hero at the top is exhausted and has no things left. It's like, oh, God. And you're yeah, just like, okay. I'll buy Maybe, that. Yeah. I'll buy and the that. ones at the Maybe, bottom are all geared up. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. the hero has amnesia. <laughs> Fuck uh, off, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dog beds for developer of Slay the Spire mod downfall. Yeah. Um, the uh, but um, the the new characters that they've got that like the monsters. Each one has a really interesting mechanic uh, with them. Uh, like just it really it really is an entire game. You just go like it's almost like they just took the idea and the assets from the first game and just went we're just going to make an entirely new video game and it's just fantastic. It is such a phenomenal game. I think it's. Free? You said it's on PlayStation uh, Plus? It's on PlayStation Plus at the moment, yeah, I okay. think. Yeah, okay, oh, yeah. It was last month, or is this month? I think. Okay. Uh, and I'm. it could be on Game Pass as well. I, it's, uh, I'm surprised I've never picked this game up, both the original or this one, because I love deck builders, and this is the one it's everyone so raves good, about man. and you rave about as well. So maybe yeah. I'll jump and check. Uh, and it's great. And, yeah, and, and once you're done with the tons of content in the original, this mod is huge, has so many unlockables, so many characters, like so much stuff. I'm going to spend like easily 30 hours playing this. I've already put it in about like 10 and it's just yeah. been... If anyone in chat's so played it on mobile, let me know because I I was keen to maybe buy it on mobile. It's like $14, but so I'm like, oh, it's a proper AAA mobile game. But I wonder if it translates well. I'm assuming it does because I could get into it on that, I think. Yeah, it's great. Uh, so uh, that is Slay the Spire mod downfall. Peter Burns. Oh, yeah, baby. Party boy. Uh, I've played two, like, light things this week. Mm. Um, and the first is a game called Hush Crane. Uh, it has no meaning to me, the title. No. Even nor after playing nor it. us. Even, even after playing it. It is by the developers who made developers... This is rude to say developers, but it's an FMV style game made by the people that made Erica. Uh, oh, so it's wow. very much a interact with the video. Oh, this is the one we used to. <laughs> the, it starts off and up. you fuck. Yeah. Hey. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to think. Of- <laughs> <laughs> Unbutton that shit. <laughs> uh, so. Um, there was yeah. something like this at the start of um, Assassin's Creed 2, I think, where you got to undress Rosalina or something. Oh, that's right. Like, yeah, X to pull down her blouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, uh, oh, you pressed a button to blow the candle out. Yeah. And it cut to black. Yeah, it was great. I loved Wait, it. Wait, so this is so, an FMV game or that was just an FMV cutscene? This is an FMV game. What? I believe this. The, I believe it's it's definitely uh, a, a serial. It's I think Hush is the, uh, the name of this story and Crane is episode one. American and, Horror Story Asylum. Yeah, but in the sense that like you play, you, there are multiple playthroughs oh. because it's a it's a multiple choice uh, FMV game, and uh, as you play through, there's multiple endings. There's only, I think there's only one correct ending yeah. to each chapter. Yeah, you make uh, a baby. <laughs> but, you um, make a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Baby making, I didn't get that ending, but it's probably that's, that's the, the hush. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. hush a bye baby. <laughs> um, but it is, uh, and having not played Erica, I was very, and I played this. I played this on mobile. I don't know that it's on anything other than touchscreen devices yet. It's a paper crane. I enjoy okay. this. Um, I was thinking industrial crane. Visual <laughs> treatment they've done to it because FM, FMV it stuff is. just looks wrong in oh, yeah. game form yeah. unless you make. I believe it look you didn't save this for FMV. Yeah, I'm it, annoyed it, you didn't play this with me. It's like it's so short. He's got two Actually, guns. Like uh, I think, 
I think like eight minutes per eight to ten minutes per. Oh fuck! It's like twelve minutes, but good. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and you see a lot of repeat content, but um, you know they're short videos because they have to shoot a bunch. They've yeah, yeah. shot small sequences, uh, and it's it's really nicely put together. You're yeah. right that the art style is like there's heaps of style in like the compositing of it all so there's just you know it, it looks fake so therefore where it doesn't pop perfectly work it, it's fine yep. it's very they've just, well, it's very well they've done. blasted like and it's just the lighting so good. it's like not? Twitch, yeah it's i'm recognizing that it's real yeah. people and it's a real location but also i'm i feel like I, it's got the stylistic quality that draws me into if you've got a cool artist put a huge yeah. cool art city in the sick. background this is sick so i've just been given this gun i flick it open and i'm like well i want to spin it Transition to the next scene. Come oh, on! It's like there's so much. There's so much. Will's cool. just over there nodding. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's so like, I tip my hat to you. There's sir. um, there's some great, there's some great uh, filmmaking. You gotta get a drink well. and it turns into a gun. Really like, thoughtful oh cross <laughs> over between uh, between film and and right. FMV stuff. It's stop no editing. Uncle Marcus, but oh. still. <laughs> and you know, I think um, I think uh, Jimmy was pretty well handled. The yep. hotel. What yep. was that called? I never remember. I know the name. At Dead oh, Jimmy. Of no. At Dead of Night. At Dead, at Dead of Night. Totally at Dead of Night. Yeah. Jimmy brings. Jimmy brings. What I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy brings the horror. Uh, so this is like, uh, you know, it's like it's not the greatest performances in the world, but every time it asks you to interact, it feels important, and it is because it's so short that every decision that you make has a meaningful consequence mm -hmm. going forward. Uh, That's a nice cool. feeling in a short one to, to yeah. think, oh, okay, these six things are actually just fodder and they all led to the same resolution. Yeah. It's like, no, short, co short story means I can have an impact mm. in multiple ways. And I got, I got, we'll probably turn the footage off pretty soon. Um, I got uh, three endings in a half hour, kind of sit down with it, and two, two of those said to be continued. Uh, and one of them was just a, clearly a fail state. Um, it's and you know you, you like looking around this room that they've shot they've like you oh you're in control oh, it's 4K, of the camera so, oh nice and, that's and, clever in a, in that's like clever in like probably a 720p final comp so it's like you can look around the space yeah, and cool. slide across the room and stuff and um, really like clever cut-ins on the action and mm. stuff and there's some action like clicking on the yeah. screen I saw you had firing. to catch a gun or something it's like keeps you on your toes in a way yeah. that just means you don't fall asleep until a dialogue choice pops up but anyway yeah Hush Crane it's on iOS and Android um, and I don't know if it's I, I did you enjoy Erica was story? on PlayStation right Erica was on PlayStation yeah. wait yeah. it's not on PC I don't know I think I I, I saw it got I saw the, a tweet or something, and it was like, "Hey, we just released this." It was like a promoted tweet. I feel like, I, like I enjoyed Erica, but I was frustrated by the ending. How, did you did you find the story good in this? Well, this the story is uh, the setup. Oh, episodic. It's episodic, and this is only episode one. And well, to be continued. That means there's more for us. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for and that. Me. Um, but it. Uh, <laughs> it is. It's, it's not just on iOS. Yeah, it's right. a, and Android. It's on phones, um, and it plays. It's, it feels built for it, so mm. it, would, it might not necessarily translate directly to a oh, controller just yet. But Erica was the same. Erica it was all the pads. Was all you, yeah. Because I remember I saw a demo at um, I think it was like Paris Games Week or something, mm. and their whole thing was that you flicked the lighter open with the thing on your screen, yeah, right. and, and you did it a few times, and then it goes, and it was like, it was cool. And you're like, yeah, yeah. that was worth flying to France. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the story great? No. But it's compelling enough yeah, cool. in the rest of the art of the how it's being put together that you're like, cool, okay, that character is bad, that character is good. I'm story can only be so good if you have to have interaction in it. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just it cannot be, it's you know, free yeah, it's, free, it's free. Reading. I think it's free on everything. Just oh, wow. Every now. episode? Just, it now just before it's I don't know. Yeah. Maybe the first episode is a teaser to get you in and yeah. it'll be like five bucks. That makes sense. Wait, like but, that, but, uh, but all the episodes aren't out now, you said. No, like, I, yeah, yeah, only yeah. the first yeah. one, I believe. Oh, um, I, and, but if you find out otherwise, let me know because I want to play the rest of it. Oh, the first thing you see... The first thing you see is the sex scene. Yeah, yeah, it literally yeah, yeah. just starts playing uh, the, yeah. the fucking thing. It knows yeah. its audience. It's, it's like a home. Friday night <laughs> SBS film. Opening credits, there's clothing on the floor. You know where it starts. <laughs> I think it either streams the game to your phone or you can choose to download it so you can oh, that's good. play it offline. I love oh, yeah, that. Cool. Downloading now. <clears throat> um, and then the other thing I played, uh, it's just come out of early access. It's been in early access for a long time, so people are very aware of this game, Dorf Romantic, mm. uh, which is a uh, hex tile... Uh, card. I yelled at the top of the show. That's what he yelled. That's what he yelled. A hextile card 
town builder kind of. It's really just like an environmental uh, tool, and the way to play it is um, on. Well, we might need to full screen the game play just in overlay channel one or something just for a second. Let's jump forward a little bit. Even more, we're still in tutorial. Even more. Where are the cards? It's like it's blown up footage. It, yeah, it is. How strange. Weird. Anyway, uh, don't worry, jump back to us. Uh, you have in the bottom right corner mm -hmm. as you're playing, uh, it shows you the next card, the next tile you're going to draw. Yeah, right. Uh, and as we've seen oh, just here, <laughs> I... Um, You've got a little train. It asks you to basically group uh, parts of the the build. So that build it would go together. That would go together. Yep. Build a town by putting lots of houses together. Build farms by putting lots of farmland together. Build a train line that makes sense. Well, yep. the train the train line I don't think is ever going to make sense with the things <laughs> that it throws your direction. But it's like connect enough track yep. that a, tr a little choo choo train can go boop boop around the thing. Should connect I the trees be playing and playing this instead of June. Just <laughs> 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 <That's> smart man. <laughs> yeah. I like the way that the pretty pictures all click together. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Uh, the game <laughs> element of it is that you start with a deck of cards that's like 60 deep and some of those cards, those tiles, and we can see just like you'll see as I scan around the board and you might have to jump a little earlier, but there's um, you'll put down a card and it's like, all right, connect uh, 88 trees to this this one. Yeah, okay. So then and those random bits of a farm in the middle of the forest are really stressing me out. Well, they're connected. Sometimes there's farm connected to trees, connected to a house, all in the mm. same thing. So it's mm. like, that's part of it. And this was the first time I played it. Uh, and it, it was a 40-minute session. So it's like, it's quite a, you go yeah, right. quite Because I was going to say, you it. played that one a couple of weeks ago, right, where it was like building the houses on you the island. You did the one, yeah, the floating played, houses that had no yeah, point. Yeah, that was, like a, that was like a year ago, I think. But uh, yes, weeks. it was called... Uh, yeah, yeah where, where, but that was much more of just like a toy box. That was a meditative kind of just like put the houses together that's a pleasing. There wasn't a That challenge. was Townscaper, yeah. that yeah. mobile game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Whereas this, this has more depth than that. Yes, the, yeah, the, yeah. the game element of this is that it <clears> tells you that, so you can see there where I've screwed up, that it's asking me for more track. And if yeah. I get th three more track attached to that... Then How are I, you unlocking the pieces, sorry? I've just got a deck of them. Oh, gotcha. Start with 60. And by every time I complete an objective hex, so one that lands with add three more pieces of track to this, mm -hmm. you get more tiles. Okay. And the objective it, of the game is to play for as long as you possibly can. Do you have to place can, the right? tile that's in the top of the deck? Yes. And so the fail state oh. is running out of tiles. You run out of tiles. If you made bad decisions. <laughs> and, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you either made bad decisions or, like, you know, it is pretty much a, a game of attrition anyway. You yeah. are going to get tiles that are useless, so you need to find spaces. Part of your build is, like, this is a literally a nothing tile. This is so bad what do I do with it? And yeah. I have to use it. Yeah. There's a creative mode as well where you have yeah, – cool. you can throw out a tile you don't want and it doesn't end. You can just – you know, kind of go through just and get enjoy the ones making you want. a but, dream town. Kind um, of thing. Yeah, it, it is like it's a beautiful little engine that like pops itself together nicely in the river systems you build as you connect something that makes sense. It kind of builds the river system and the the, the trees and the uh, railway and stuff. And then yeah, it, this was my first session, and I by completing certain amount of object objectives in the different like three categories that it deems to be like the key areas, which is like um, agriculture. Uh, rail and water I think mm. it's like as you level those up you get new tiles that fit into that field which might randomly appear in your pot in your tile set in your card set and then like the next time you play you've already unlocked those so you might get them earlier and um, you get more time with a little boat going chugga, 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 down your river. <laughs> it's, I like when they have more objective in that's married to this kind of Zen style gameplay. Cause I found like Townscaper was the one that I don't think any of us were like that drawn to because mm. it had no point. And then the other one I played uh, weeks or years ago was that uh, <laughs> yeah. like that one where you had to do all the lands, you had to grow the different biomes and clear it all and remove all oh, the- Oh, reclaim the- Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, which again had a really- Way more recent than Townscaper, right? No, no, no it was time before. Townscaper, Townscaper was, was not that after that one. I'm pretty sure. I haven't. I have not had that on my phone. It was okay. like it was a year ago. But I liked that. <laughs> I liked that there within all the meditativeness. There was still like, oh, I still need to be doing the right decisions here. Mm. It's not just plop things for you know because it's pretty. Oh my um, god, yeah. Townscape was June 30th, 2020 is when it came out. 
Yeah, that, and 2020. That, I don't know that I played it then, but no. I played it on the phone. Then. It was ages ago that I talked about that. Right. And you've talked about multiple like relaxation games like this since, like Z- like um, yeah, like yeah. the like the uh, the the spice mining one. one that I just played on the desert. Oh, spice yeah. mining just one. Tuned out. Yeah. yeah. Lost Terra all my political Nil. power. Like just let the flies. Terra Nil. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Jared. Um, more recent games. Yeah. Uh, I saw someone in chat. I lost your. Oh, Ainsley said that it's on. Uh, sale right now on Steam. I just checked. It's like fourteen dollars. It's usually twenty. So, if you're keen, go check it out now. I love the look. Is of this it. made by a team of Scandinavian young people? Has to be. It's got to be Scandinavian like board game designers. Has yeah, to be. That's, <laughs> that um that uh, Stacklands one we talked about like a few uh, weeks yeah. ago, three years ago, was like the most beautiful <laughs> six young Scandinavian men and women being like, we just thought it'd be fun to make little cards. Uh, it was <laughs> like Tukana, four game design students from Berlin. Yep. Yep. It's like a Bajo yep. concept of, of time or numbers. He would always tell a story and he'd be like, and it's something like 10% or like 70%. And he'd be like, <laughs> yeah, a- yeah, yeah. He'd yeah. be quoting well, Freakonomics and he'd be like, yeah, Freakonomics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he'd be like, the variation on the quote was like, I mean, they're completely different things. That's like, <laughs> it was like, also, the government. Like, like 10 million years or like 100 million years or something. That, and also, it's like, <laughs> the only interesting thing about this story is the that's, statistics. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's the only thing that makes this interesting. Bless him. Bless it. <laughs> Good. Uh, cool. Nice. Recommend? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I might play that. Yeah. It looks really nice. Yeah. yeah. You would dig it. Nice and chill. Uh, Stephanie <laughs> Bendix. Play my soap file of G. Hi. Hi. Um, so I played, this week I played uh, Labyrinthine, which is a game that I played uh, back when I was doing Hex's Horror Hijinks of a Week. Oh, yeah, back then. Um, <laughs> many, many, many years ago. Um, and it was probably one of my favourites that I played out of that sort of cluster of games. A lot of them were kind of like iterating on either Phasmophobia or Dead by Daylight with the kind of haunt chasery kinds of things. And I was expecting that when I got into this. Can you give me, what, is, what was the one unique mechanic about this one? Because there was a six week period there yeah. where every game tre- you spoke about, I was like, is she just playing the same game? Is this a big tree monster coming after you? Tree monster. That's, that's one of the levels. So you start, you start, out, game, you start out as, yeah. um, you know, you've got up to four of you who were just going on this maze journey and, uh, <clears throat> it, it, it is more about uh, solving puzzles and getting through mazes is really what it's about as opposed to mm-hmm. the other kinds of horror games. Yep. Um, there are obviously creatures that are out to get you while you're doing it, but um, it very it does a really great job of inciting fear within you by separating you suddenly That's right. and pushing yeah, you yeah. away monster. from each other and into different places. Yep. Um, if you play it with proximity chat, it's even better because you're constantly getting separated and you're trying to find your way back to each other. But in, during that process, you'll stumble across a puzzle and be like, oh, if I solve this puzzle, I'll get the key that I need to open the door that we... So in this first area, um, there are five different seals that you need to find to be able to open the door to the next area but it very quickly separates you. And it does that either a monster will come and you just have to leg it and you don't, not always able to leg it in the same direction. You just go in whichever way you can. And this is a new level? There is a new level, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm right. just, Sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the setup. Recapping. Yeah. Um, but sometimes like gates or vines or things will literally just pop up in between you with yeah. a jump scary moment and you'll see that you're separated from someone else and you're like, oh, gosh, no. Um, so it's great. And then, and then after we kind of got through this, it was also just so much longer than all of the other games. Mm. I wasn't expecting it to be a multi-level involved puzzle adventure experience so once you get through this this bit there were like several other levels and all of them are really different and all of them kind of operate around the idea of a of a labyrinth with puzzles to solve and something or several things that are scary within it was really cool and it was one of those games that's it's it's small enough that when i was streaming at the developer like dropped into chat and was like hey glad you're enjoying my game as it's really lovely same thing with myth force for me it was really awkward (laughs) (laughs) um so when we when we played through the game i I remember being super disappointed that it was over because i was enjoying it so much and it was just like we got through the game and then there was just a a bunch of text being like end of current content and it was like a note for developing like (laughs) We're going to make some more soon. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Um, and they did. They've made a new level that is, I would say, probably the least labyrinthy so far. Um, it, it was much more open and also felt the least kind of supernatural. So all of the previous levels were around sort of mythical kind of scary monster things or, or whatever that would come after you. Whereas in here you're in like a, a swamp with alligators and uh, giant mosquitoes and stuff like that. So it was more kind of real world fear. (laughs) But um, we had to separate more as a group because we had so much more ground to cover. So it was very, it was cool that it sits within the 
the broader scheme of the whole game. But um, it's like, what's a labyrinth but without walls? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I would say it's probably not probably one of my sort of lesser favorite. Um, of them because it feels like it's moved away from the original yep. premise too much. I would love for them to do another level after this that kind of gets back on the track. Was there uh, – is that how they're rolling it out? Was there another stop sign that said, hey, more well, yeah, we come just after got to that, We got to that same end screen. That was yeah, like right. So it does content. say we so I guess they'll more. just keep making more as long as people keep yeah, wanting okay. it and playing it, I guess. Um, because – and I will certainly keep playing it because I really, really enjoy it. And, and you guys reach the end of it. You f- you- yes, but we also – like, because we started again from scratch. Like, I, it's – for some reason, I love it so much that I will replay it over again and again. And it's the, it's a bit like a movie that you enjoy and you want to introduce other people to. And and be- it was different this time playing it with different people and playing it with more people. I think I predominantly played – my first playthrough was with, with Jens and Reese, and then mostly just Reese. so it was two of us. And this time there were four of us playing through and we got through it a lot quicker – um, and I would say I potentially think it's more fun if you play with less and, and there's a bit more of a challenge mm. to it. Um, but, yeah, so it's this kind of open world sort of swampy area and you're kind of making your way through um, these kind of swamp locations, but it's a bit floor as lava situation because the alligator is persistent throughout the entire swamp area and if you're in the water too long it will come and get you and yeah. it's actually quite terrifying. <laughs> like it comes and it grabs you and it flips you around and throws your corpse up into the air and then, and then noms you. Yeah, yeah. But there's um, nothing. So is that the replacement for the scary? There's nothing mythical. It's like the previous level yeah. was like there's a witch in a maze, and this one's like, oh, there's an alligator in a swamp. It's like there's yeah. no ghost or anything. So it's their 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 framework is labyrinth puzzles and threat. It's like it can be that, but with different. Totally, totally. Yeah, okay, this right. one, the threat just. I think uh, the mosquitoes were definitely uh, a mild inconvenience. Well, they were larger. Ah, actually, right. that was like. I would say that it's almost worthy of a of a content warning. They're that terrifying. Oh, right. Like just the buzz and the freaky insect mm. nature of them um, and the giant – oh, there were giant leeches also. It was giant giant swamp creatures. It's still cool to not have to be like, and where is our witch ghost goblin yeah. thing? It's like, no, it can just be Florida, yeah. as you said. Um, and it was – yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I want to keep playing this game um, if, if they keep making more content for it because it's just a really fun – place to spend time in and I just love the way it forces you apart in such clever ways um, and it's a fun game to work together in and also be absolutely terrified. <laughs> cool. Um, so, yeah, I enjoyed it very much. Um, and then the other thing that I've been playing um, or that I just I sort of played very briefly is uh, Nightfall, um, which is by Landfall Games who made totally... Uh, awesome no, battle to- simulator. Totally realistic, totally... Totally bodacious totally, yeah. battle simulator. I thought it was tabs. Legitimate. Yeah. Isn't I thought it was tabs. So it's accurate. Totally, totally accurate, accurate battle, battle simulator. Sim- right. Um, and uh, every year they release a game. <laughs> what? Every year they release a game on April Fool's Day that is like a something like oh, really? that, silly that they've been oh, working cool. on just as a as a <laughs> laugh. And so it comes up with a disclaimer being like, hey, this is a game that was made by our dev team in five weeks. It is not the main thing that we're working on. It's not going to have ongoing support. We'll obviously like do bug fixes and stuff like that if people are enjoying it. But like, please don't expect anything spectacular mm. from this. And what it is basically is like a battle royale, but it puts you in teams of two, so you both ride the same horse. Amazing. <laughs> and I was just playing with random. So, <laughs> and the horse picks up speed as long as you are on the road, yep. and as long as you, and you have to turn by drifting. <laughs> I love butt slap. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then it gets a boost. Um, And that was very difficult for me to (laughs) to get a hold of. My first time, I just kept going off into the grass and being like, what? How do I do this? And the person was like, let me drive. And I was like, okay. Take the reins. (laughs) So I jumped on the back. And then we got to – you get to the first town and it'll be like, um, you know, there are are knights occupying this town. And so you jump off and – you know, there are other players in there, usually one or two other teams of two. Mm. Um, you battle it out with pistols and swords and whatever you've got. Oh. Um, if you yeah, right. survive that encounter, you can res people um, uh, if only one of you dies and the other one stays Amazing. alive, but they can res. Did you, you just say more of that and then can't carry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Game doesn't know what it wants. Um, and uh, you pick up different things like, you know, like any like battle royale, you pick up health, you pick yeah, up, cool. you know, grenade type things and stuff like that. If you survive that encounter and you kill everyone in that little town, um, then you then rest in that da- town when night falls. Nightfall. Um, and, oh, and new horse people come. And then new come. horse people will come and then you have to defend. And then That's clever. whoever survives that moves on to the next town. And you keep going wh- until finally, I don't know, I think if you scroll all the way to the end of this clip, there is the kind of end. Um, yeah, this is the end scenario. 
Um, Hang on, how, how do you move on from the town that you rested in if more horses uh, don't so you, you so Whoever you... survives the encounter moves on to the next town until nightfall. So you can do multiple towns. Uh, oh, okay. You didn't oh, stay okay. in the, if, whatever if town night, you're in at yeah, nightfall. Whatever town you're in at nightfall, you have to stay there. Okay, right. And, um, like, the game won't let you move on. Then the And next... is something happening at night or is it just like a load No, it's almost, or... like a, it's almost like a, just like a reset Okay, right. Thing. You die if you were out on the road when night falls and you're knocked out. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. I, That's what I'm trying to work out. That's a good question. That's a good question. Shelter I, I in town. So a shelter from something, presumably yeah. you're getting, you're taking damage. Or yeah. Right, yeah, right, probably. Right. Probably. Um, Jesus. Yeah. Amazing. So but this is kind of like your end, your end <laughs> battle royale thing. You're fighting it out for the rose. Uh, oh, if no, he keeps, keeps rolling a little bit further, <laughs> this person's going to get rezzed by their teammate, I think. But you run around as a ghost when you're dead. Yeah. They're getting rezzed. Huh. And, and then now, there's a rose. Right. Take the rose for back. the win. Oh, no, they're still they're looking behind their back. A little bit forward. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, what an animation. Oh, oh, you give the rose to the other knight. Adorable. <laughs> it's so but cute. But we can't. <laughs> but we must. But we must. <laughs> <laughs> and then it cuts to hush. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually like it's That's so cool. Games last for about 10 minutes. Love that. And it's very silly, but it's actually kind of a cool premise. For a game that was made in five weeks by these devs on the side, like it's very funny. The hardest thing, honestly, for me is just getting the hang of this. Of butt sliding. The, of the horse, butt what's, sliding horse. What's the significance of needing to move fast at all? Like if you're just traveling between towns, you can run into other horses out in the open, or other players. Um, I guess you don't need to, but I guess it's like you want to be able to clear out the town and, and get as much of the gear as you yeah. can. Okay, right. So it's you know, like and, 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 and people are coming from – people are starting in different locations. Gotcha. So it's a map. race to get to towns, get resources, yeah, yeah. fight off who's there, survive there's at night, a sense, There's on. a sense of urgency to it because like okay. any battle royale, you want to clear out and get the gear and improve and, and move up. Is there a is there a circle of death? Is there a, some, There's nothing no. that's restricting wherever it needs to be? Just the fact that night falls and you need to be in a town okay. when that happens. So – it's It'll also tell you, though, which is really nice, when you're approaching a town if there's no knights in it. I was about to say, yeah, what if you oh, run yeah, somewhere? It'll just it, be like this town is lies empty. Yeah, or, right. or, this, or this town is, is quiet and you just keep going through. And then as you're approaching a new town, it'll be like the, there are knights that just said watching awaits. your approach. Yeah. yeah. The, um, it's company like $9 is, yeah. on Steam. Yeah. Uh, you said that they don't update them and stuff and they have a patch, they have a thing on this thing saying we're not updating it. And then they put out a patch saying... We know we said we're not going to update it, but we couldn't help ourselves. And they've put out three full patches. The last one was <laughs> a week ago, and they're adding new weapons, enchantments, new towns and villages. I, really. I guess, it, cool I guess it's just been doing well. It's just, yeah, because yeah. like, it's got really it, positive yeah. reviews, so and people seem to be having fun. Yeah, that's yeah, sick. It's, that looks it's, it's just funny, and it's it's clever, and it's a, an interesting spin on the idea of a battle royale, um, which I feel like we haven't really seen anything really deviate too much from the, from the circle uh, yeah. format. Of it also looks in. like it's not bad to look at in any sense. It's cool and stylish. Yeah, but it also looks a bit of a cell shady kind of thing to but it. But it looks like an art style or if, uh, like the idea was racing ahead of the design. Like, mm. hang on, what if we're knights? What if they're in towns? What if the horse can move? It's like nothing looks very polished, but that's because clearly the gameplay just came first. As you said, it was a jam kind of vibe. Yeah. So it's like just get the game working and then everything <laughs> like catch up later and now people are enjoying it. So, yeah, yeah. that's the cool. shit out of it. Yeah. Love Funny. it. Funny. Cool. Clever. Uh, and Will. And me. Bring us home. With short game. game. It's a short game uh, and it sucks, but it's good because it's <laughs> justice. Uh, and uh, it's actually a sequel, technically. I'm going to talk while I do this. Uh, it's a sequel, technically, to a game called Roombo First Blood, which is in relation to a vacuum cleaner, mm. and you play a vacuum cleaner in this. Oh. Uh, and Roombo First Blood came out in 2017. This is kind of like a remaster of that game. Wait, no, Roombo? Is this what Ali worked on? Yeah. yeah. No. 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 The first so that one, was no? Called, that was called Roombo. That was called Roombo. Oh. Oh, is this related right. to that? I, do, I cannot work it because this is a Melbourne team. This is Samurai Punk. Yeah, it, it definitely must, has to. Yeah, it's, 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 no, it's, it's, it looks no, the same. It looks the same. No. Oh, this is Samurai Punk's game. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, so yeah, is, it, is it connected? I th it has to be. How many, how many Australian dev teams are working on vacuum cleaner video games? Yeah, totally. Well, that's the thing. Rumor was a different game. Yeah. but Because Rumor was more about the story. Yeah. Rumor is a far more like kind of orthographic like yeah. beautiful looking game. This is a lot more like puzzle room kind of. Yeah, situation. right. Okay. So this is more of a kind of gamey game, whereas that yeah. was more of a um, but it's thoughtful almost, experience. It's almost like they developed narrative. an idea that they liked and then they were like, we could pivot it. 
you, yeah, the same the, style the, and yeah. The the character model is very much the same. Totally, yeah, the blue eyes and everything. Yeah. Um so the the basic premise here which you can see is you can hack into different things around this house and uh, this is a demo there's three levels available at the moment. Hack into things. Right now I'm helping my family turn on uh, a television and then I got told to clean up blood and I was like, oh, okay, cool. This is, this is different. Um, oh. So it still has that kind of rumour sets itself up to be one thing, but then but they, they are different twist. teams. They're, They're different. different. It's, it's a different game. game. It's yeah, wild. Yeah. Different game. Different team, Completely different game. Different. Completely different. Completely different. Not the same. Um, oh, there were just two Australian developers that made a game about Roombas at the same time. <laughs> the f- yeah. Burry, burry, pick a tie. It's, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's the uh, Armageddon Deep Impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my yep, God, yep. Dante's is. Peak Volcano. Yeah. Right. So... Rumu. Yeah, it's weirdly <laughs> close as well. Uh, this is, this is as I said, remaster, but it's kind of a sequel, so I think there will be brand new levels as well attached to it, and it's set to come out later this year. Um, this is kind of the setup. It actually turns into serial cleaner, basically, yeah, where right. people yep. are infiltrating houses and stuff, and you've got to go after them, hacking into things to, like, Spring open a window, which knocks them unconscious, and then push them towards a fridge to freeze them. And there's, there's home alone. some really cool chain attacks and stuff like that, which is which is sick. Um, but yeah, it's very much that game. It's very much Sierra Cleaner if you're a robot, um, and if you don't want Sierra Cleaner, it's a man cleaning after dead bodies. Yeah, uh, and is it good? It's great. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's very like the looks, demo is looks like good. it's super polished. Uh, it's going to be on PlayStation as well, and so they've. Talked about haptics and stuff, which would be quite fun with all the different devices. I know Pete, you like Oh, haptics. yeah. Oh, I mean, this, no. this would totally be the kind of game that if you wanted to go nuts on exploring the full range of the dual, dual sense, sense controller, oh, yeah. <laughs> the, wireless yeah. controller. you can do it. Uh, actually, I should show the, the, the best part is when you have killed someone, uh, you can suck their body inside you. Uh, which is Can the most important thing. So this man has just been uh, and <laughs> Army Hammer. Army Hammer. Thank you. I couldn't remember his name. Good. Uh, I can a before before show joke. Good. Yeah, but this is very good. It's it's yeah. It's available now. It was just sitting in my um my demo list, and I just thought like Nick had already worked out the script, so I just thought I'd play it. <laughs> yeah, good. Um, is there? there go. He's sucking that body up. I saw that. Wait, is there a benefit or a motivation to clean up? So at the uh, end of at least this, this level, yeah. the other levels. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, just suck up all the blood. Family's coming home. Basically, they went that's to what I was going to ask. Yeah, yeah. So you got to clean it up. I don't know if they're aware. Whoa! It's how been... many people do they murder? I, I <laughs> it was like shit. six or seven, and this is the tutorial level. But the, the tutorial. Other... <laughs> <laughs> the the thing I don't know kind of the progression because the the next thing that happens is the family are taken, <laughs> like like Liam Neeson style. So you go after them and rescue them. So there isn't. As much of an emphasis on cleaning up in that situation. Yeah, it's right. Rest. So I, I think I don't know how often you'll be having a timer to clean up blood, but I hope it's fairly. I love the idea of the appliance <laughs> I hope forming. It's a lot. <laughs> I love the idea of this murderous appliance having an allegiance to a family that owns it, though. Like regardless of <laughs> if them getting yeah, taken nice. or whatever, it's like it's coming after them to save them, oh, like dude. like a Disney oh, film. Oh wow! But it's yeah. doing it with this level of gore. That's awesome. And, and this this over here is sexy McLean, which is the robot but with a whole body. Um, Wait, that thing. That thing's that another thing dancing. dancing. Yeah. Ah, all right. This, I well, love this. It's quite. Uh, there's a great personality. There's all these little cutscenes. Admittedly, there's like six cutscenes in this demo, and all of them have different animations. And I don't know if that's just a budget thing. Wow. They just got different people to help out, but it's it's a cool aesthetic. Oh, because uh, I can't pick one. <laughs> yeah, so it, like that's the that's the cruise ship that they've been taken on. So there you go. Lots of blood. Um, cool. Yeah, well worth it. It's, yeah, what the hell? Why are you a, why are you a human? Someone's standing on it. So that's the family. I've rescued them. Oh, you're oh, driving them out. You're driving, driving them out. Safety. 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 Yeah, they're on a yeah. little hoverboard. <laughs> like when you see those uh, videos of a little cat sitting on top of a yeah, yeah. It's like take. Oh, at break around. one. Sorry, you'll get that later. <laughs> <laughs> you will. You will. What? Um, I will. The uh, the okay. This is awesome. So yeah. uh, and and uh, would you say it's a stealth game? It's it's one of those things that I'm sure as you play it, there's a few powers at play that, that that they give you here. But at least in these three levels, it feels very much just like get the job done. I'm sure as it progresses, it's a bit more stealth. But this definitely feels like showing off what you can do. Mm-hmm. Less so like like well, I guess is, 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 they they can see me. It's fine. But I'm sure as the game progresses, there's a bit more emphasis on. Well, the more they up the power of the enemies, the more you're gonna have to totally like, not yeah. just yeah. go gung ho. We as should a Roomba. talk to these devs. Totally, I like right? this. Yeah, it's, mm. it's cool. It's good. Ask them uh, where they got the idea. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> See where they got the idea. Uh, okay, or good. was it Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox? 
Because they suck because each other's they, blood. Because they drink blood. Drink yeah. each other's yeah. blood. Is that a thing? I'm yeah, so yeah, out of the loop. Yeah. But I'm glad I'm out of the loop. I don't want to be in that loop, the I'll be honest. Bob, Angelina. Angelina, yeah, yeah she did it first. Angelina was drinking blood way before. Was she drinking? Was she just storing it in vials and hanging around in there? It was blood stuff. How does it get into the vial? They were doing blood stuff. But that's true. For years, I thought Billy Bob Thorne was her dad. He was kind of. And I was like, God. What? And I just, but also as a 13 year old, I was just like, okay. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> um, uh, that, we t- spoke about June Spice Wars, Myth Force, Fallen Aces, Overwatch 2 Beta, Slay the Spire Downfall, Hush Crane, Dorf Romantic, Labyrinthian, Labyrinthine. 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 Uh, Nightfall, and the demo for Justice Sucks. I That's- feel like we need a. A buzzer and a ding when we go through that list at the end. Because I can't remember which ones were good and bad. Not good and I'll bad. I'll tell you, like, June Spice Wars we like. Ding. Fallen Aces looked cool. Ding. Slay the Spire Downfall is excellent. Ding, ding. Hush Crane looks fantastic ding, ding. Uh, and fun. Uh, Dorf Romantic was a nice chill time. Nice ding. Uh, you really liked the second the um, update for the thing, but it wasn't as good as the previous levels that you've played. Correct. Scary. Uh, Nightfall looks like tons of fun. We're all going to play that. Ding. And Justice Sucks looks dope. The only duds here were Myth Force and uh, Overwatch 2. Uh, ding, ding. Wait. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not everything no, that's what ding. the buzzer was for. Yeah, Beat was just dinging everything. Why are you dinging the way you Yes, he's supposed to, so people can quickly identify which were the games they yeah. should check out. It's like a review one score. One. It's not a great system. No, it's like a review score. It's, it's just, a, it's thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah. This is ancient Rome, baby. Yeah, but which games are you talking about? You're just like the thing, the youth of the thing, ding. Everyone the thing, knew what thing. I was talking about. It's like we're all on the same page except for you, Yeah, Peter. you're the yeah, only no. one. Yeah. <laughs> shit system. Shit system. All right, we're going to get Pete back on the page with the rest of us while we take a short break. We'll be back with more Back Pocket after this. This is ad break one. <laughs> You'll get it. You'll, You'll get, get it. it after this. You'll get it. <laughs> There it is. Let's give it to him. He said nice. Five. Five. Well done. Well done. Another five. You, oh. ran, you ramped up there at the end. Wow, that was... That's, what is that music? <laughs> <laughs> that's the Pete's Party theme, mate. It's Pete's Party, yeah. It's Pete's Party time. <laughs> Mussolini is back and he's on a war pouring. Luckily, recruitment kennels have been set up everywhere to show those humans that a good dog's bark is far better than a kitty's bite. So, join the jet today. The joyfully enlisted Paw Patrol. Whether you're a pooch in training, or you're already on the job, become the hound Her Majesty needs you to be in the J-E-double-P. But why look, it's the Amphibious Light Infantry 2nd Battalion Royal Australian Regiment. But of course we just call them the Wet Rats of the Brook. They may look like a soft touch, but rest assured, they can wrestle with the best of them. <laughs> That's a good boy. But it's not all work and no play. You'll be belly up in a good way with our program of R&R. That's running and, yes, you guessed it, more running. Touchdown, little fella. I originally founded the Joyfully Enlisted Paw Patrol unit so that every pup would have the chance to show leadership and loyalty, rise to the rank of top dog, and have a big stretch. Oh. Here at the JEP, we teach old dogs new tricks. So, say bow wow to Meow Meow and make sure Giddy knows that it's Mutt who's man's best friend. The J-E-double-P. Sit. Stay. Sign up today. My father used to take me to the airport sometimes. Wait, is this bigger? I used to watch the planes taxi down the runway and then take off. Swooping up. Oh my god, it's coming. Grandpa's dead. Grandpa dead. <laughs> Holy shit, who saw that coming? <laughs> Do not forget what, what you did! Yes? Betrayal. 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 No. Wow. 
Welcome back, good boys. Hey, it's a good boy. Uh, big thank you there to Sam Funk and Vexia for the words from our sponsors and the new commercial for Jep. We've been teasing for weeks. We have, yeah. haven't we? <laughs> Join the dog army yeah, was like, a that sentence that no one understood for weeks and weeks. does now. I still don't know what it means, but I'll sign up. And that was ad break one. <laughs> the dog was on a Roomba. It's true. I got it. I got it straight away. Good, okay. Uh, thank you very much, Jet, for your continued spot. We hope you enjoy your commercial. Uh, and I know you did because you were in chat and you were going, oh, my God, hype. Incredible. So uh, I think that unless you were talking about something else. Also, it okay. sent through a uh, voiceover line to put in the ad and said, I spent way too long on this. Here's multiple takes. Guess what? First one, you nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, I, that, wasn't me awful. Just, that wasn't me just not being bothered to listen to <laughs> yeah, the I was like, there. first one, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, maybe don't send two and a half hours worth of uh, voiceover. Uh, so thank you very much, Jep. And a big thank you as well to the other sponsor for tonight's show. And that, of course, is Donut King. Yes. We're back. Back on the show where they belong, donuts. That's specifically what... here, and then soon, right there. This here. is my new favorite part of the show. Get in <laughs> my belly. That old wonderful catchphrase lovely, that people haven't used since the late noughties. Donut yeah. King and PlayStation have joined forces to create a limited edition range of PlayStation donuts, and to celebrate that launch, they are running an in-store competition. They being Donut King, where consumers can win one of five PlayStation fives plus thousands of other prizes. All you need to do to enter is purchase the PlayStation box of donuts uh, to enter the prize pool includes five PlayStation 5s, five DualSense wireless controllers, 15 PlayStation Plus 12 month memberships, 10 copies of Horizon Forbidden West for PS5, 10 copies of Gran Turismo 7 for PS5 and 49,955 hot cinnamon donuts. Again, I have to emphasize, this is not one prize pack. Every time I read it, I read it as though I say, I think I say the prize pack includes and it's like, no, that would be insane. So, <laughs> oh, like no, Donut King, I know you're watching right now. We love you very much and thank you for your support. But if that was your marketing team, we're like, we're going to give all this way to one person, fire that person. <laughs> um, old prize packs they used to give away on TV where they used to pan past everything. Yeah. Like you get past five PlayStation 5s yeah. and then just have to zoom out to yeah. like a truck. This is like the uh, uh, amazing yes. of, of donut mm. themed gifts. Totally, so. A totally wild prize pack I was always going for. Never totally wild. It. Saturday totally. Disney. Oh, really? Yeah. I, wanted that. I wanted to win that drawing contest on Saturday Disney. Never got it. Yeah. Um, I said 49,955 hot cinnamon donuts and that's not true. It's at least 49,953 because we won two donuts on these boxes last week. I've got those codes for those donuts and I will just put them in the Discord randomly this week. Didn't we give them to someone? That, no, we said we would and then we like, oh, I've right, got them. Okay, yeah. So like, I'll just randomly post them in the Discord at some point and then, I don't know, because you have to take it to redeem at the store. I'll think this through and then I'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe I'll pick Do you think you sit there with the poor person working at Donut King going, J, yeah. K, Lel? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like a game key where you can redeem it. <laughs> where you it. can redeem it. You Someone's going to go all the way to the Very store and they're going to be like, correct. it's been redeemed already. And you'd be like, oh. <laughs> I'm going to set a challenge in the Discord that you must meet. I'll pick a winner and you get a donut. Okay, yes. cool. Fight to the It's the easiest go ever. <laughs> this is one of those things where we're both having equally yeah, yeah, fun yeah, conversations. Yeah. Uh, and speaking fun. of fun conversations, let's kick it off with another episode of Donut Chat. <laughs> What are they talking about, Gus? So I slowed that down because that's someone's like cartoon voice uh, audio file. And it's like, <laughs> you slow it down and it's someone talking, just plain gibberish going, ooh, na, na, la, 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 ha, 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 woo, uh, yeah, yeah uh, la, la. It's someone doing Simlish, but they've just sped it up. So there you go. Don't bother slowing it that down. That's so cool, There's though. No cryptic no, imagine message. If you, imagine if you'd uh, uncovered some kind of like, Latin mm. backwards. Yeah. It was Satan. Definitely someone who Even Sorry, Donna King. <laughs> <laughs> Even at Niaj. Yep. Even at Niaj. Yep. Uh, so, Donut Chat. This week, this week's Donut Chat topic is which PlayStation 5 game would make the best donut? And why? Ooh. You had to turn one video game into a donut. It has to be a PlayStation 5 video or a PlayStation game. PlayStation, PlayStation. in general. Yeah. No, yeah. All of them working. Think, the yeah, think of the back catalogue, Nicholas. Yeah, think of the back catalogue. Think of the back catalogue. There's only like four PlayStation 5 games. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, anyone have something? It may seem a bit obvious, but I'm going to say Ratchet and Clank Ripped Apart mm. because there are a lot of different um, planets there where you'd have a lot of weird things that you could ice the donut with. Yep. Tangy, exciting flavours. Maybe Ooh, tangy? a... Tangy? Tangy? not what I think of when I think of donuts, but sure. <laughs> I love yeah, a pineapple I mean, donut, though, and that's got a tang to it. That's got a bite, it's yep. true. But, but I mean, like, with, like, I don't know, like, popping candy. I'm yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, like, yeah, fun, crazy, yeah, yeah, alien, yeah. crazy yeah. stuff. You yeah. could um, very easily, like, theme each one verse uh, on each planet that they go to. Uh, totally. It's a small rodent. Yep. Or donuts that turn you into different things, or okay, maybe send true. you into different dimensions. Just donuts that are nuts. Oh, or yeah, bolts. Nuts. Yeah. Or oh, bolts. yes. Or yeah. or shaped like the portal from the new one. 
like the purple portals and yes, that's right good. Well, oh, but I was, I was, I was instantly thinking about the Grand Theft Auto Special Edition, uh, Ultimate Edition, whatever, uh, where yeah. they turn the donut into, into the, the into yeah, the yeah. donut. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the purple. Uh, okay, but yeah, clank. I reckon that'd be fun. I reckon you get some wacky, weird donuts um, coming from uh, Russian clank. Stephanie, you get a donut. Yes. That's how this game works? Well, yep, yeah, this is how no, this that's game how this game works. She uh, won the first one. Last what shape would you like? Well, last last time I had X. Yep. So this time I think I want triangle. Oh, iconic. His favorite. That's okay. I've that had my triangle. Iconic and it was, triangle. And I wanted to try. I wanted to mix things up a little bit with my next one. You wanted Gus. <laughs> Siphon filter three. <laughs> no, it's, I don't know. I've never played that. I just assumed it would be so. No, mine is kind of similar, and it would be Crash Bandicoot because that is definitely the kind of style of game where every bit of food in that game looks so bloody delicious. Mm. The way cartoons mm. make like cake and drinks and everything just look extra Moorish and tasty. Yeah. I reckon I wouldn't bother trying to like theme it after the game. I'd just make one that looks Some exactly fruit jam in there. <sighs> Just make it look exactly oh, like a, like <laughs> something from that universe, like a cartoon yeah, a crate. Donut. <laughs> okay, a crate donut as well. But the thing is, you have to eat it like a character from Crash Bandicoot oh, would okay. eat, which is the usual classic kind of like, ho, 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 ho. you yep. just do that. That's how you would consume the donut. It would not no. be safe. It would not be... Uh, That's how Scardi eats, and I always feel sad for her that she's not enjoying the taste of her food. I'm like, slow down, enjoy but, it. But you're doing this because you have so many. It's like, you know when he, he eats all those like Wampa fruit at the end, and they're like... Please That's consume your eat. donuts responsibly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With two hands and a big pile in front of you going. <laughs> that's, that's how it. Or does he, he spins in it? He does the little spin as well. He spins. Does anyone have any weird donut eating methods? Is this like a weird. You know how no, that'll be next week's segment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, 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 it is now. <laughs> it is now. Uh, Gus, you get to pick one. I will take the X this time. <clears throat> oh, I so wanted the X. No, God damn it. Oh, good, good. But you got to eat each bit off one at a time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Peter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for something really out there, and yeah. it's going to look. It might take a while to explain where my head's at with this with this kind of thought process, but I was thinking uh, GT Grand Turismo. Oh yeah, yep. Because donuts are wheel shaped, mm -hmm. <laughs> and also cars have a steering wheel. Yep. Go on. Um, uh, Tracks go in a circle. Yep. Okay, but. Give me the goddamn donut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you get the square one. <laughs> if, a, if, a, if a donut were a game, I was like suddenly picturing c cars with donuts for wheels, and I'm like, that would never work, Peter. Steph read the question in her head. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Uh, good. Uh, mine? Yep. Bloodborne. Just the grossest donut you can imagine. Oh, lovely. But, and Oozy. just have, it have bits. A jam donut, a jam Bloodborne one that's like really, yeah. oh, it has like a creepy white icing that looks like some kind of, like those weird, what were they? Celestial beings. Spo spoilers. Oh, I mean, it's been, it's been yeah, there's forever. a lot of Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah you, you bite into it and go mad and jam goes everywhere. Yeah, you, <laughs> massive spoilers for Bloodborne. <laughs> uh, your life is entirely normal. You bite into this donut, you suddenly see the Lovecraftian horrors that have been around you the <laughs> entire time. Moon. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like, wow. the whole time they've been. <laughs> a reality altering donut. It is, that's why, yeah, and uh, you know what? Only the fine folks at Donut King can send you <laughs> mad with their donuts. <laughs> it can uh, change your reality just through a simple bite of a lovely yeah. French pastry. Are they French? All no, right. We talked about French no, nuns. No, no, no. Excellent. Uh, those <laughs> are great choices. Duck. Uh, Duck. So thank you very much, Donut King, for sponsoring today's episode. Uh, if you want to try these donuts yourself, head in store to pick up a limited edition four pack before May 31st. What? Did we win? Peel. Oh, yeah. Peel. Peel. Peel, Peel. Peel man. Peel. Peel. Uh, May 31st Peel. is when this ends, so you can go get your donuts before then. Uh, and then and then when, when this ends, you have to settle for normal, delicious donuts. Damn it, I ate them quick. Oh, I forgot you have to redeem a code. You haven't even taken a bite. I yet. peeled this and I thought for a second we won a PlayStation 5. <laughs> and there was a picture of a PlayStation. Hang oh, on, yeah. I gotta redeem. Steph? Yeah. Read that out to me. What's Will's answer? Wait, wait. I'll, share my, I'll share my donut with William. I can't read it out yeah. to you because then everyone will know. Will, what's your what's code. what's your King PlayStation play. game? Uh, donut. My one would be Dreams, because you can make literally you can donut could be literally anything. That's a really good answer. Oh. But I would probably make it a donut because that's a real easy thing to make in Dreams. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally yeah. the so. first thing like three D software teaches you <laughs> yeah. to make. Like, start with a donut. Go sphere. <laughs> now put hole in sphere. <laughs> You've made a donut. <laughs> F. That's a good answer though. Good that answer. is good. It's a good answer. Would Must you like do. some of my square donuts? Or would you like some of Nick's circle okay. donut? Or iconic. I'll, I'll just take the PlayStation iconic 5. Um, <laughs> you want the Go the triangle. She, mm -hmm. Go the triangle. The triangle's gone. <laughs> there you go. What, what shape <laughs> is it now? Okay. It's okay. It's, it's, it's the triangle. It's okay. <laughs> Are you going to finish it? Hmm? Are you going to finish it? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this is <laughs> so, so... Can't give away someone else's donut. She was doing that? Attention. But only because you forced my hand. <laughs> you can have half of this one. Come have a bite. Can you cut it? Can you have a bite of yeah. all of ours except for Gus who gobbled yeah, his up yeah. so far? I, don't I told you, mine, you eat it like it's... I don't want you to eat mine, but can you lick my fingers, Clark? <laughs> <laughs> We want a cinnamon donut! Yeah! Oh, baby. Ba, 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 Everyone win a cinnamon donut. I mean, they've got 49,000 of them. And I'm like, beginning you. to think that this is not a box of four donuts, but actually a box of five donuts. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, you've cracked the code. So good. Does that mean there's a secret button hidden somewhere on a PlayStation controller we've never discovered? <laughs> the fifth shape. Yes. <laughs> A dodecahedron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Let's move on to our next segment. And that, of course, is very good gameplay. Yeah, there's donut chat. Oh, yeah, there's the end of donut chat. Yeah. I love donut chat. Can we please have food based segments? Every week well, till the end of time. I came up with Nut Chat and you shot it down so hard. So. But that didn't involve actually it's true. eating. That's true. Next time it will. Next time it will. This is very good gameplay. Very good gameplay is presented mm. by Reese Wild. He loves rocks. What a great guy. A recent return to the top stitch patron tier. A recent and return. A recent return. That's what I said, wasn't it? No, no, no. I'm saying a recent. Oh, recent. Ah. Like his name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought it was rice. Ricent. <laughs> it is rice, isn't it? Rice Wild? Is it Rice Wildy? Yeah, it's it not rice. Reese Wild? No, it's rice. Oh, rice. It's Rice Wild? Yeah. Yeah. R H Y. I've been making an idiot rice. myself. It's been two years, guys. It's called a Crandall. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, good. Uh, we're going to very good gameplay. And uh, Pete, what are we playing? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's got sugar rush, yeah, mouthful, sticky fingers. I'm like, oh, it. Hell, we should have had an ad break. <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> uh, we are playing Trolley Problem Incorporated. <clears throat> and forgive me, I did look this up and it has slipped my mind. Someone in uh, yep. on the Discord suggested that we play, that we, we check this out. Mm -hmm. I think, it, and I think it was in Pocketeers Club, so it's probably scroll up a bit. Uh, if it's you, say it was me in the chat, and we'll all think you're awesome. Uh, and the first person to claim it, uh, I will accept as the person that suggested this. Uh, we'll and we'll wait. get it, and we'll get a cinnamon donut. Yep. <clears throat> oh, old mate Dave. Oh no, Z screen gets a cinnamon donut. There you go, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, I'm going to send you your Make donut right now. Make a note. When you come in for the next shoot, we'll have a donut waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, tell us about the game, Peter. So the game is based around the uh, uh, philosophical trolley problem mm. of there are two obstacles on the track that are living, breathing obstacles. Which one do you choose to hit? What are the, what are the moral implications for there's, each? There's I'm not, a fork I, on the track. Yeah, route. I'm not trying to correct you. Like, it's a split Man. on the track. Tram, and there's something on both bits. Which one do you you have to hit one to get the trolley to keep moving? Which one do you pick? Yeah. So it's picking the lesser of two weevils, really. Uh, Mackenzie, <laughs> I just sent you your donut. I just emailed you the link. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's such a dark concept with such a a plucky menu. Yeah. What's it? So it, 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 oh, sorry. What's it originate? It, it's it's done as a thought problem to what get it a read on someone's kind of like. It's, it's more just it's, a, it's, it's like it's torture. It's it's, it's 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 about it's explaining like morality and ethics. It's like every just, that it's like every right Telltale on. game ever made. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the trolley will remember that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, uh, the fun thing about this game is that we don't have to play it. Yes. You have to play it. It's finally. So uh, under more options here, we've checked. Can we Twitch, play also? Twitch mode is on. Yeah, I mean you can if you want. On my phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the one time we've given you a pass to tune in, <laughs> and you're like, I'm in. <laughs> Chat, don't so, get away with this. That is. Uh, so we'll get prompted with a question, uh, and you guys will choose who we murder or what we kill. Good. Uh, something's going to die every round. We're here to help in that decision We're because we'll come up with probably a decision of our own, and we'll try yeah. and sway you so to that decision. This is genuine, like genuinely. The audience are playing the game, and we are the Twitch audience. Correct. Correct. That's great. Yeah. This is ideal. We've worked out a new So model. you will get, I don't know if the prompt is there in chat right now, um, but it is just exclamation mark A or B. It's an A or B choice. Can it be Pete's shirt that you kill? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, here just we go. comes back stronger next time. Okay. So, uh, oh, this uh, is it's, it's only It's only because, it's only continue because I hit start just to make sure the game ran earlier. Uh, this is right at the start of the game. Okay. Here we go. The I first one has to just be the trolley, right? Words. 
Here we go. Action speak louder than words. Welcome to Trolley Problem. Oh, my God. Founded to help people travel safely level. across well, the nation. Sorry. All our employees must... Oh, this is set up like they ah, run the trolley as well. Yeah, it's like a, 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 a portal company. My God, it's a oh, business. We have, we, have to, we have to pass the test. Training. Yeah. Uh, they want it louder. They want it a little bit louder. Yeah, a little bit louder. Uh, there's a runaway I'll, I'll... trolley barreling down the railway Oh, God. Tracks. On the tracks. Okay, there's a timer. Oh, timer. Unable to move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. A little more. However... You notice there is a person on the other track. Okay, right. What so good example. Mean? Needs of the many, needs of the few. You pull the lever. You this pull is the, the classic. Yeah. This is basically the problem. You pull the lever. Yeah. Are we, right? Even though it like, makes you responsible. I don't do anything. The chat, see the chat? <laughs> oh, on the sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that just switched over. So even though it makes you responsible gotcha. for the, like, directional, like, uh, a direct link between you and the death of this person. So, and if we go to full screen just for a second there, Pete, we can see the delightful mini metro aesthetic that has given us a much less gory version of what this is going to be as murder. It's just a little circle or five circles. Uh, yeah. But, oh. but the five circles, uh, or, or the, the little circle is about to have a bunch of blood over it that a small vacuum is going to like suck up afterwards. <clears throat> oh, you're going to kill someone? This isn't how I thought I was going to start my day. Amazing. So, oh, so the game is nagging you. you. Yeah, great. Uh, Mido, Mido in chat said that uh, instead of thinking it like you kill one person, think of it like saving four people's lives. But it's actually five people unless Mido was like, but one cancels out because you, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, have to do the math. Ah, yeah. Uh, yep. out. <clears throat> Decision made. We're pulling the lever. 31% said do nothing. What's going to happen? What's going to wow. happen? Does he get wow, splat? you is guys. Wow. And any blood? No, the game's ready to G. Usually we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day. Ooh. But we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this She's one. She's going to make us feel Just terrible. Just think a little more before acting next Oh, time. that's 68% of people. Will I would run. round that up. But what do you... I don't understand. Why is she nagging us? We... I think... I think she's just. Well, we I think she's just a trash manager. <laughs> Maybe was like, I said I would round that up to sixty. I, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can be haunted by one face and one name. I am but five. <laughs> I'm like, there's that five people I killed. Yeah, right. One, right. it's like you killed. That's me. true. You see one. You see someone who's killed one person accidentally or on purpose, and it's uh, they carry it in their shoulders for the rest of their life. Yeah. But serial killers weirdly comfortable with mm. what they've done, mm. and they've killed like ten to fifty. Anything people. happier than before they killed? Exactly. Like feel satisfied, sated, and whole. Next question. All right. <laughs> How can if this get broke? Don't fix it. It's more to come. They should this make a version of this in dark. Don't show us. Oh my. Oh my God. Wait. Here's Polly. Oh God. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her oh dolls, God, she no. dreams of looking after. She the also world. loves playing on tram tracks. Polly's destiny <laughs> is to grow up to be a great doctor. Uh -huh. Four of us should take a leaf out of her book. Oh, oh no. but what? But what? Oh, Dr. Polly! <laughs> Dr. Get off Polly. the tracks! Is heading towards another fight. <laughs> oh, oh, God. To a so this is a if good example of what lever, I just said, though. Like, I can... Oh, now oh, I know okay. the face of, Hol of Polly. Yeah. Sandwich. Now it's asking us to choose between five oh, and Chat wants to fight of Polly's people. people or do we save... Or do we uh, you kill the You kill the five people because... Because they're near the train track or on the train track. Whereas Polly is in a park, like she's in a sand pit. She think it's derailed. This thing is like rocketing through a kid's playground. It says that it would derail and descend down a hill, heading oh, for the park shit. sand pit. It's not. She's on the track. Yeah, right. But like those people, do they choose to be on the track? No, they never do. That's the thing. It's like oh, the, look at this so combat. So it's not like they're they're oh my God, there because so close. they it was B, life Now it's on A. Choices. I mean, you, it's got to be B. B. If you have the choice, it's got to be B. Pete's right. Kill the child. Well, just say kill the one. No, 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 the child. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, I, I let, no, I let it go. I do, I do nothing. Nick is the only one that has actual children. Also, I genuinely, I genuinely believe this. Yep. A child has more weight than an adult. Can like more, like worth and weight. Because they have more life to live. They have more life to live, more potential. They are more innocent, and but, that I think but that worth more than five. Oh my god. Okay, we did nothing. Uh, Polly is. Nothing. <laughs> Coward. So question, this actually weighs into Good the work, whole moral Chad. dilemma. By choosing to do nothing, is that a choice? Yes. Because, yeah, if totally we pull is. the lever, we are responsible. But doing nothing, even though we made that You happen, had the chance to do something. It's, but they still voted to do nothing. And so, so can you live with yourself more because you physically yeah. just went... For those five no. deaths. Yeah, exactly. 44% of people worldwide. 
So the majority killed Polly, yeah. 56% of yeah. monsters. That, that's, Why are there percentages? They're still, they're still thinking many of oh, you. And look at the ticket building up. We've killed six people oh, amazing. so far. Oh. That's amazing that that tracked. Oh. Do you reckon that there's an inspector who comes along with that machine that beeps and just checks how many people yeah. you've killed? Beeps. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. This is fun. The key to this test is integrity. Oh, this now he's ready. there instead of he Polly. He's a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge-watching crime shows. Same. Mm -hmm. Tyrone is a very large man. <laughs> I'm really proud of your protecting. There's nothing else about him apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia <laughs> of trains. I've learned from the crime shows. That's true. He's got a severe <laughs> phobia of trains. Is it a tra why are you anywhere near a train? Now, well, sorry, is he in the sand? I thought he was in the sand pit with Polly. Also, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> kill, him kill him straight him. away. Yeah. <laughs> also, isn't this a trolley <laughs> problem, not a train problem? You can only Interesting. Stop it by what? Deliberately pushing I mean, it's a train. Off the That's bridge, what a trolley is. I guess a train has a driver. Oh, what the hell? Hang on. On. Okay. Or let the You're on a bridge. Five people. So you have to push Tyrone off a bridge to stop the train. Yeah, because he's. You was push that, him. Was that why he's a large man? Because he could stop a train? Or I thought that had health implications. Like maybe. He's just he, a random dude. He's, an, he's just a dude. Yeah, okay, yeah. right. But did and, they have to all, make him big enough so that he would stop the okay, train? Okay, hear me out. Do nothing. He's so scared of trams mm -hmm. that he's going to get out of the way anyway. Uh, no, he's not in it's the way in the speeding, first place. It's still speeding towards five it's, people. You need to push him off a bridge to stop it from hitting five people. But how does that But do stop you push him in front people? of the train? Yes. yes. And oh. you stop the train. You don't just... Oh. Read the, That's why you're read saying the paragraph. Stop Tyrone is a Pete's break. version is a train just smashing... I've got him... I've got him... Doesn't know what a no troll way. is next to no. I can't keep up with this shit. No way am I pushing someone in front of a train. I'm definitely pushing him. Uh, you're going to push him even though you know full well he's terrified of trains? It's like... <laughs> that's the least of his problems. I like the that. fear is not what's going to kill you. But the this, train this is, is what's going to kill you. This is now not just like allowing something to happen or not. This is People actually... This is pushing a person, murder. murdering someone, yet. Yeah. This is like a oh, lurk. Shit. This is a lurker's dream. This I like is just like everyone who lurks in chat is just like uh, I'm just gonna watch. Totally. I'm just not gonna pull the lever. For five, for a few seconds, I love that when Pete got confused about the problem in his mind, a trolley was gonna kill five people, and then in the wake of it, Pete was just gonna push Tyrone yeah, off it's the like, bridge. Why is he? Like and he was gonna go. He was gonna swim away because it'll be water underneath. <laughs> um, we've <clears throat> killed eleven. People. I still and my justification for that is still uh, one person is one person's life is. Uh, like compared to the five, that so it's still the like the five people worth more than the one except the kid. He had a heart attack due to the stress, so he died anyway. Fuck you, game. That sucks. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's just that's no. just them messing with us. We didn't. <laughs> that's bullshit. Did that? Oh wait, so chat picked not push. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Five yeah. died. Okay, yeah. But did we get that death on our ticket? We didn't. No, no, no. That didn't no, count. No, that no, that no, wasn't no. on us. No. That's just her yeah, yeah. making us feel bad. So the idea is that this is going to progressively try and make. See what weighs up against five anonymous lives. Yes. Right. Well, if it doesn't count towards that town. Is it a, no, if it's a no. kitten? <laughs> a child worth more than five people. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what else? No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, and not a very healthy dog by the looks of it. out of resources to continue okay. your testing. I'm going to need you to go and grab Oh, this is like an Ender Game, Ender's game thing. They were actually killing people for the trolley, tests. So don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. Wait, okay. Oh, no. You'll need so is this killer dog or mannequins? The suffering problem. We're this about is going to go out. well. Definitely going to get distracted by the dog. There is a dying dog down on the tracks. Oh. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. Dying or dead? Dying. 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 Gosh. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery? Or kill the dog. Or die? Cold and alone? I mean, she's swaying. It's a biased question. She's like, the What's cold happening to the dog on the left? It's both the same dog. It's the same dog. <laughs> Steph, it's yeah. not. There's a dying and dog and an already dying. dead dog. We, it can't, we can't just pick it up and save it? There's no. There's only two options. Leave it to die or kill the dog. Yeah. Yeah. She might say something after this just as a fun tag along line that's like, it actually might have made us just to make us feel bad. But the problem, the suffering problem is do you put something out of its misery? To which chat is, this is the biggest swing we've seen so far. Saying, How are you going you, to do it? No, nah, the if first If we leave it to die, oh, I'm sorry, worried, yeah, I'm worried yeah, she's going to say when the train back. comes yeah, and like, kills it, it in a really horrible back. way. Are there well two done, trolleys coming? Asshole. <laughs> it probably will. Uh, uh, two oh, trolleys yeah. are going to collide at the bottom. Oh, you're right. It could be an accident. It's Quick, throw a dead dog on the track. It's definitely killed the dog. Somebody yeah, there, yeah. I mean, it's <clears throat> it's called the suffering problem. It's yeah. like, oh jeez, I thought that was a train for a second coming down the line. <laughs> oh. What's the What's the blue reference? Is that the This is where this is cited from? Like, 
Yes. Yeah. 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 It was reading extra reading material. Gotcha. Dog is going to be killed. Dog is dead. Makes sense. We're good people. We're humane, but it's going to make us feel bad. I can just. But are we just sense. running it over in our tram? Yep. Godfather, see right. How is that dead. humane? To care about its feelings and wishes. <laughs> One dead dog on the ticket. No, we know better. Well, fifty-six percent of people worldwide let the dog suffer and die by itself alone. But I wonder well, if that's because they were hoping something else would happen. If if we live in a, if the, we live in a the world, the point of where hypotheticals no, is you don't get to w- like no, play in that. Yeah. I know, but in the yeah, but previous in this game, it, there is in the previous problem, yeah. the guy died of a heart attack, even yeah. though we let yeah, him that's live. What this now a, people that's are thinking about. That's, that's what this game is adding. To, this game is putting flavor in, so you yeah. could make the assumption that it's going to do something. Exactly. Now I feel like that's in people's minds, and they're like, "Well, what?" The whole test is ruined at this point. But yes, but I do think, and uh, because Gus and I are very much on the same page with this, in that the flavor text is just there for fun and to just mess with you. But the actual, because the otherwise the problem stopping. I'm, this I'm not talking to anyone specifically, but like otherwise the problem stopping interesting, right? Like if you start going, oh, I wonder if the, maybe the dog will make a miraculous recovery. It's like, well, that's not the fucking point of a moral. Yeah, but that's what this moral. game is trying to make you think is po- is a possibility. We're smarter yeah. than the game. It's already We're ruining than itself. Game. We're smarter than the game. Tyrone I'm a lawyer. A heart apparently. attack, but he didn't die from <laughs> if you it. Play with fire, Do we know that? You'll get burned. I thought he said it was dead, or well, maybe it said it was unconscious. Oh, great! <clears throat> just heard those kids are back. Oh, no. I know. I killed the kids. We're gonna have to kill so many people again. <laughs> no more children. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember, respect, responsibility. So this is always this is just set up. Yeah. This is to feed us a, a picture that will yeah. like manipulate yeah. our choice as well. I do care for Five stick fences. Have snuck down onto the trolley oh. line, even though signs warn them of the dangers. Hoodlums. The yeah, look at them. They're wearing hoodies and stuff. Water. It's me. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. The. It's not just a random face. It's a car. Oh work. wow. Okay, so it's a worker doing the responsible thing, or it's. Youths. How many trespasses? Five, five you. Five. five youths one with the BMX. The and and all, BMX. And one with a skateboard and all with backpacks full of firecrackers, penny bungers. It's the Lost Boys. Uh, so it's I still... Me. Kill the Goonies. <laughs> Kill the Goonies. So <laughs> I'm going to say I still think uh, you let the worker die because in this scenario, the train is currently headed for the worker, so the worker should know better. Mm-hmm. The worker is, has put themselves in a position where they would be hit and by a train. You're starting to flavor it up with uh, a little bit no, of No, 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 no. I'm saying yeah. that they, they, they're in a position where uh, unless we were there to interfere, they would have been killed anyway. So they should die. I'm on board with that. The, yeah. I think that makes sense. Well, that, the chat's not. Chat, chat wants to chat, kill, chat kill the goonies. as much po- blood as possible. I would have killed... Chat, the, chat's not like, we're doing the wrong thing. They should die for it. Which is wild because all of us have been the kid who snuck in somewhere oh, yeah. when they were 16 totally. and they shouldn't have. Yeah, but you should have died for it. That's true. I was. I literally used to walk on the train line to go to the quarry to go for a swim with my friends and there was... we go camp. No, that's Stand By Me. <laughs> Crocodiles? I, I'm unlocked. thinking of Stand By oh. Me. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> there they go. Killed a child. Oh, no. Five oh, kids. kids. God damn. All right then. I guess Today, ch- the oh, it's in. starting to. It's I'll not just people on the docket. It's being itemized by children. <laughs> oh, and and the emphatic thank you at the bottom. Doa, dear, I'm with you. This is messed up. Mm. Jesus Christ. Dead children dead. aren't people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a letter. We're in trouble. <laughs> we got a letter. Oh, do, I, do I have to open it? Yep. Our like superiors. You're exactly the kind of employee that we need. <laughs> dear sir or madam. We have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem, Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work, especially when some challenging of decisions this is British. had to be made. Mm. Creepy, like we Black Mirror like stuff. They have no hearts. employment at the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe through all... I know he did another life. British evil company, but what's his face from the office? The tall one doing the voice? Stephen Merchant. Stephen Merchant. Oh, I could use a bit of that. Mm. She's great. Just <laughs> the best laid plans go a man would really sell it. No, he's got that <gasps> bumbliness. I want a bumbly like male or female voice in this. Yeah. I like, I like her. Answers. She's slightly cold and, and terrified. Oh, so this is now hospital problems. How's the trolley oh. getting in? <clears throat> how the hell the is this getting where in? everything is like a surgeon can save either this person or this person by a trolley? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you leave? Do you accidentally you dropped a trolley in an open wound. Do you <laughs> stitch them up and leave it there? <laughs> or do you James Spade? Or do you James Spade? The trolley uh, is what I call my dick. Uh, it's trolley health talk. <laughs> oh my god. Today you'll be in A and E. 
a young male has come in from a car accident. Oh my God, this is an episode of one of those shows. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. But he's been waiting for it. He's been waiting for it. Uh, it but goes... he's elderly. Nah, this is this is give it to the young. You give it to the young man. Yeah, yeah. I definitely think so. Yep, Which, I'd, uh, I'd probably go and smother the elderly he's, man. He's had a good life. <laughs> and take his heart and yeah. give it to the young man as a spare. And be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a spare broken heart. Yeah, we got a bum ticker for you. I mean, I'm intrigued that they haven't tried to add some flavour with the like, he caused a car crash or he's a drunk driver. Like, that feels like what would be the confusing part. Well, of this. I think because this is phase two. Uh, yeah, we started yeah. fresh. Trolley, like, trolley was straight the first one and then oh. it's going to get weirder in the hospital. I only just realised that instead of a trolley, we are the We're heart. heart. <laughs> down the line. The end is going to be like, you find yourself having to yeah. choose between. Muso for Hire says, what if the elderly man is a wealthy benefactor in. of the hospital? The Hopefully he left in his will a lot of money. To the young one, but the young one could have healthy relatives, so there's more potential. I think if, wealthy I think if you relatives. ask That's the what I say, healthy. Man. Wealthy. wealthy. Yes, wealthy. Oh and wise ones. If you ask the elderly man, I think he would want to give the heart to the young man. Yeah, unless that elderly man was like, he wants to. Bezos. Bezos. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Is Bezos elderly? Maybe he is. What do we classify as elderly? Uh, I think of that as like 70 he plus. He's getting on a bit. Oh, well done. he looks fit. Elderly like he's on like horse steroids. Oh, wait, she got it wrong. Amazing. Oh, oh, wait. Did you save the young guy? Oh. Uh, Merchant, Merchant would have sold that line. Fuck it out. But we didn't get... Did we get a person killed then? Yes. Yeah, people killed one. One. Yeah. Well, I mean, one person the would have died regardless. It's still been pretty solid, like, worldwide. It's Can't still 50-50 for nearly everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. We would have got one dead person on that regardless. So the ticket add-off doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah, Same with the dog. I thought it might have been a child, though, but it was young man. So you're going to have to go mm. out on the ward and help Maybe he should have died. Young child in a car. Oh, okay. Maybe he should Gross Remember, decaying temperance. people. Restrain yourself and think it through. She's um, reminding me of the voice of the, uh, is it like horrible bodies or something? Oh, a man yes. coming on the beach. Oh, totally. He's contracted an STI. Hello, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Got this from a dolphin. And end their life. What do you do? Uh, oh, you totally euthanize. <clears throat> Totally. Illegal. You will have to be the one who gives a lethal dose. You need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? They've begged for be euthanize them. You sorry. I'm happy There's no way to cure them. I think, like, no. The In this scenario. <clears throat> uh, I wonder. What's the chat? What's seriously. the legal treatment? It's just like I imagine it's palliative care. Yeah. Oh yeah, euthanize. Yeah. I def I definitely think euthanize. There's also no mention here about like criminal criminal repercussions. It's simply just saying. I mean, apart like, no, it does mention yeah. legal treatment, which suggests that the other is illegal. Oh, it's definitely illegal. Yeah, but currently illegal. Oh my uh, god. That's rough. Okay. If she's trying to sway, but. We've only got. That's like, so different, though. That is totally different. No, you. They haven't said what? what this person is sick of. That's a good point. They haven't. They've said come a in with a they headache and just want to die. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They, they, you're right. They haven't said approach. someone is um. Oh. What if they are undercover. <laughs> but uh, aren't they this one of the gross decaying up. people? <laughs> they didn't actually say. It. They just said a patient. It doesn't say a terminally ill person. So that's the the. the oh, case. interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've yeah. set us up with a scenario, but not said that this is t part of that scenario. We've all assumed that. We've that assumed kind of feels but that's a good. That is a good point. She's, She's gonna say like, like, they'll be undercover in a second. Oh, oh wow! You actually did it. I thought you would have learned oh, not it. to kill people by now. Get out of here. Okay. I thought she would have, like, tried to lay on the guilt thing. Like, they only had a sore knee. Mm -mm. Call us. Ooh, call us when you get hit by a gift. trolley. <laughs> we got a gift for that kill. Reward. <laughs> for that kill. I oh, my God. Da -na -na -na. The game is reward. <laughs> Gus is in love. Are you syringe? Hey. That's the one. Da -na -na -na. Uh, <laughs> All and you're like, oh, God. Finish. Uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. He's slow in choosing but slower in changing. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. <laughs> you were on the trolleys. <laughs> Amazing. Today should be easier. You have a choice to make which some people would see as a good problem to have. Let's finish out the week. Take and then we've probably seen enough of this. Oh, it's just so... I'm we're so Wednesday. ready to... I'm so... Yeah, go, 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 go. Hump day. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, from but the Bahamas. no organs are available. Oh my God! A healthy young traveller comes in for a oh. routine checkup. 
Oh. The organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Oh my wow. goodness. Harvest. The tourist, <clears throat> my mum told to me when I need. got my driver's license, she said, don't become an organ five. transplant, uh, an organ donor. Right. And I was like, why not? And she said, because if you were ever in an accident and uh, there was someone and you needed like a heart, if someone came into the hospital, I would pay a doctor any amount to, to get have them killed and take the heart and give it to you. So don't be that person. <laughs> um, and I was like, holy oh, shit. Is that the it just stuck question? with me for the rest I mean, of my life. That's crazy. Oh, wow. <clears throat> nah. I mean, no one's going to have my I, I feel It's some like maybe like weird <laughs> Eastern European. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, an like Eli, in an Eli Roth film. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm a Gus Buffet at the end. Go for it. Gus yeah. Buffet! Gus Buffet. Um, you know you have to opt in. You can't just use your driver's license. Yeah, no, I've He's done that. I th- I, in this, I leave I leave the guy. Is I don't yeah. kill yeah. someone. In reality, their parts. you're not murdering someone no. for their bits. Yeah. It's also, I'm yeah, I would have thought, like, someone comes in who's mm, a very bad person. Do you harvest them? Well, that's a moral dilemma. Like a drug lord. That could be a pedophile question. or something. It's like, yeah. That could be an upcoming question. <laughs> I think a drug it, lord was probably fine, but sure. <laughs> I, I was thinking it and I stopped myself. And then you said drug yeah. lord. I'm like, all right, I'll say mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. I've got one I'd murder. You probably should have looked into their background. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I mean, yes, probably then. Yeah. If, if you're going to prevent more harm, that's it. If that's an added bonus. Mm. Oh, Plus one the... was researching into improving vaccines. Hopefully, that won't be an issue down the road. Oops. Yeah, hopefully uh, it won't. But, that, but that's, guys, that's just life. We've got that, that new syringe. Life. We'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It's like the last of us. And it's been used, so we know it's effective. Damn right. That's what that means. <laughs> There's that yellow box that says <laughs> effective <laughs> syringes. <laughs> <laughs> you the have D been fell promoted off. yet again. Yay! You now run the hospital. Incredible. From Monday to oh, Thursday. Now we have to roll out <laughs> a new vaccine in Central City. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the vaccine, dude. <sighs> but you'll need to deal with that. Oh, okay. Did, she, did you cut her off? Yeah, yeah. She went, oh, okay. ...among children to stop this endemic. Sight problem. Clinical trial data suggests the vaccine Ooh, one of fuck. children severely ill. Was this kill? Much was this a than the virus you Was vaccine. this a lethal thing that we're preventing? Was the vaccine preventing a lethal? It's, it's uh, much worse than the virus itself. Yes, yeah, so, so it's like, like, oh, like a, the one in vaccine. five. This is too topical. <laughs> yeah, 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 too real, man. I think don't vaccinate. That's what you say all the time. It's true. Well, n- <clears throat> like, I'm vaccinated, my kids are vaccinated, and I think that most people should be vaccinated, but I also think that it shouldn't necessarily be week, legal. You like, f- you shouldn't be forced to, to be do it. I just think Ill. you should do it. Um, but uh, Also, the pro there is just weaning out idiots. I think here is... No, that's so... That's horrible. <laughs> I know I know people who don't want to be vaccinated, and they're not idiots. Um... But the uh, but with this, I think making one in five children severely ill. One in five? That's pretty huge. One in five. And also, like, what are is they the, saying? And they're the, saying the severely ill, much worse than the virus. The illness. Sorry, I was just reading that wrong. It's yes, like, yeah. the illness is worse. Than, one in yeah. five is a huge number. That would never get through any clinical. Yeah, yeah. that's a. The, who also, is, is the is virus? Is, is the virus there? killing yeah. people? Did, did it say? Uh, they no, didn't no, no, say. They didn't no. say. But I guess not because they said that it makes it worse than the virus. Than yeah. But in that case, I would say don't. Those are, those are put One in five. That's, that's, too, that's too topical. That's too topical. One in five kids. That's fresh off the back of what, we all, of what we've all been through. Wow. The monsters. Oh, they Karen as well. Ah, uh, yeah. Mido says, also consider the damage that this vaccine will do to the image of actual good Exactly. Vaccines. One in five. A porn call Bishop mm-hmm. just saw, saw the citation. This was from a 2018 study. Wow. Oh, Jesus God. <laughs> Uh, the person true. was like, I published too early. <laughs> oh, run over the beggar. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? said beggar's coming, Jesus. Then always run over the trees. Oh, they're no trolley. Sorry, I forgot. We don't work for a trolley company anymore. Wild you can harvest the beggar's organs and that's it. Totally. <laughs> okay. Gosh. Placebo problem. We'll need you to be stoic. All right. We're going to be, let's be tough on this one, chat. I don't want any of you like. Will you try to develop saving lives for no reason? Saving lives for no reason. While testing, Can you remind me what a difference between a pandemic and an endemic is? Pan and global. Some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? You could hope to make a breakthrough. (laughs) 
<laughs> also, while testing, oh God. placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients without proper treatment. Some will die today. Right, so you're not treating them. You you will stop tra- treating a lot of patients so that you yep. can divert your uh, your efforts to coming up with a. Yeah, but look how much money we stand to make down the bottom there. See on the, the chart, some get to eat the vial equals money. Equals money. And I, a stack. I think you I think you treat the patients. I think that you don't sacrifice a bunch of people. You it, like, you just have to have faith that your work is going to pay off. I agree. Without having to instantly start sacrificing people right away. Also, the use of the term placebo is interesting in the way that, like, clinically you do it to hope that people have a placebo effect and still get better while taking meds versus you just give them lollies or, like, give them non-medical. I just feel like if you don't start research, then you're going to be stuck in the same cycle forever. Like, you need to... At some point, you need to find a long-term solution to the problem, right? Mm. Start research sixty four percent. Let them die. Otherwise, we never move forward. Look at the look at the probably um, good thing most of these decisions in real life aren't made in sixty five seconds. <laughs> and by a group of anonymous pe- people, or yeah, like, by not anonymous, Twitch but like chat. whose decision is sent upwards in a flurry of other votes. It's like oh, that wasn't me. You really did that. Severely ill children, a thousand people. Oh God, does that that adds to people? Oh, we just killed a thousand people. Yeah, yeah. We let them die. We didn't kill them. But how many? I think we did, killed them by n- are- by removing treatment or preventing treatment. Yeah. So the placebo yeah. doesn't work. We've decided. <laughs> <laughs> we wasted a thousand Mentos. Is what we did. <clears throat> we got an email. Oh, no, I'll give him a tic tac. Dear insert underscore name. Good. Congratulations. <gasps> this letter is to certify that AI. I have examined your work oh. and believe you to be a perfect. Oh, so each yeah. Fill the open do we do another week? Or are we done? Do another week. One more week. week? Yeah, we can do a week. Shut up. This is a democracy I'm the boss manifest. Now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Get your hands off my promotion. You're now in charge of the a tunnel problem. Driving automotive division. You can skip this bit. First things first. Well, your the, artificial intelligence needs skip. some direction. No. A oh. self-driving car is traveling along a single oh, lane shit. mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. Mm. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? Look how sick those passengers are. They're poor bellies. I'm, I'm with the... I'm with the child, killed the child. Something really f- terrifying about an AI seeing a cliff and going, well, ring! Goodbye. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fucking scary and that scares me so I'm less caring about the child and more caring about my own fear of AI (laughs) I I don't I don't feel like I care about either solution here I feel like they're both as bad as each other they're awful but also it's like that's a that's just a bad way to design AI if a kid falls on the road it's tragic just hit the brakes hit the brakes and then You'll hit the kid and the kid will probably die. But, oh, I see. But so, 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 the, so the question is not necessarily about us just choosing lives. It's about the AI of the car. Yeah, yeah but we're designing yeah, we're the AI, AI, AI to do The to car's going backwards. Prioritize. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. It's in reverse. The car's reversing. Yeah. I think <laughs> I would do passengers still, even though those passengers could be parents and ruin others. You would kill the life. passengers. Yeah. Oh, really? You'd have the car drive off a cliff. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have a, you shouldn't have AI driving cars here. unless they can make How does the computer like know get a hundred break decisions. Yeah, but what's the kid doing near the Do road good without parents? Sets. The parents are in the parents oh, are in the car trying to kill oh the my kid. God. Yeah, the to... <laughs> oh, we only killed one uh, one more kid. Ah, oh, damn. <clears throat> so, oh, <laughs> is the mother of invention? Where is the parent? Mm. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. Good. This AI stuff is hard. They're also a little I'm pissed. You need to choose how you want All right, to carry here we go. on developing the car's AI. Nicrotex. People wouldn't get Do in a car that's known for killing its passengers. That would <laughs> yeah, save it's as true. many lives as possible in an accident. Or a system that would save our passengers at any cost. This is the same question. just Ah. Do you need to check? Wait. Oh, this is because the investors are like, listen, we need to iron out where our priorities are here. I mean, I think it I, I think it needs to be saved most, but that's <laughs> terrible for the like, you know, you want to get on stage and say, this car will protect you no matter what, but you can't go 
that that means it will turn into it will kill ten people if that's going to keep you safe, right? Yeah. Like that's yeah. awful. The selling yeah. point, the pitch there is you're living. So, that's a murder car. <laughs> yeah, but the pitch there is that you need to make this car as popular as possible, so everyone has this car. Everyone so lives you're in also, the car all the time. True. No one, so no one hops out of the yeah, car. No one, yeah, no one will ever yeah, die. If, if a car killed five people, then people wouldn't be like buying that car. No, yeah, no. But if you knew you could protect yourself from the murder car by, by getting, getting your own motor car, your own motor car, yeah. then maybe you, that's the sale. And you sell millions. Yeah, and then and cars. then and then it's a film. Out They're like, cars. this car kills millions. Yeah. You should buy one so you stay safe as well. Don't be one of the. Don't be a statistic, who's, Steph. Who's don't be a statistic. Who's, this movie? who's the passenger of murder car? This is just where fucking Chris Pratt. Fast and Furious is going. Chris, no, Chris Pratt is the voice of murder. The car. voice of the car. Yes. Yeah. Who do you want me to kill? It's my Christmas mm. voice. Wahoo! Wahoo! Fast X just got announced. It I think it's Colin Current Farrell. Did it really? Yeah. It's discriminated. But they're calling it Fast well, X. I like that. Fast 10. Colin Farrell is a passenger oh, in a motor car. If it doesn't the deem black women gotcha. to be people. What? What? So it's discriminating against minorities and women. How can it work out this out if it doesn't deem black women people? Hang on, I will say it again. Current data sets discriminate. That's a weird, that's a weird sentence. I don't understand what that's trying to say. Did we How miss something like, before? We Maybe must she have. was saying that the current data sets that the car is being programmed with are biased. It's or designed are to discriminate against minorities and women, and it can't work out. Though I will tell you that there are, there's that's all sorts bad, of stuff. That feels that, like a bad joke. But but uh, it could be. But also, lots of technology is racist yeah. and yeah. sexist. Like just inherently in every in like the ways that yeah. it just like. Do you, do you remember that Twitter cropping thing that was happening? Yeah, for a that long sort of time? stuff. Yeah, and that was not intentional, but it was a thing that was just happening. That and security doors and stuff, like mm. any like motion activated stuff, will yeah. often just not recognize mm. people with darker skin. Um, yeah, yeah, I want to give this game the benefit of the doubt and hope that they're making a. Comment. They're trying to make a comment on that. Yeah, yeah. On, yeah. I mean, they're, they're using a bunch of moralistic arguments. Uh, yeah. Honesty Next murder car. Is the best policy. I liked it when Hitler they were like, was "Right, okay, we're done." <laughs> 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 Hitler had some pretty good ideas, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> 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 just have to use an app to call them, and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even this, make this like the um, pandemic AI endemic stuff, is too real. I liked listening. trolleys with like there are nuns on the track. I'm like, I haven't seen a nun in years. <laughs> or a <laughs> I haven't seen a nun in years. <laughs> this is easy to make a call about. It's like, no, I use this shit. I'm I'm concerned. Uh, you know why you haven't seen any nuns? <laughs> Always on the trolley tracks. He killed the passengers. Them. Just have to use an app to call them. And the next, a man <laughs> is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. Killing. Mm. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and yeah. invade their privacy? Yes. Allegedly, the AI is mic recorded. So, I mean, that's all they can say. Are we the, are we, wait, are we, are we the we cops Apple or are we the... Or we're the, we the software developer. We're, we're, we're Apple. Apple. Okay. They've come then, to Tim Apple no, and said we want you your, can't. the information. Why? Because... That opens yeah, the floodgates for every other... Because it's, it's what happens to, like, right now. Like, they yeah. won't... Apple isn't going to hand over my information to the cops because they're like, well... If this, but what if, but if, what if, you're, buy what a if you're, somebody thinks you killed someone? Well, they're no, going to have to prove it in a different But they, they could set this up as precedent that this happened somewhere else. So now, like, Apple could just hop on your phone and have a look when they wanted to. Which they won't, <laughs> but it's the idea that suddenly it opens the floodgates of your freedoms are just gone because of this <laughs> That's one like, case. Pretty sure Nick killed someone. Uh, yeah, I did. And I got away with it because Apple can't look at it. Because it wouldn't be for them. I would be so annoyed if, like, if you murdered Peter and and some and somebody was like, oh... Uh, oh, this flicked. Nick was in the car and he... and he. Uh, we've got a confession of him thinking that... Like Apple has to just give us the thing. I would be so angry. I know you would, but also, but the the actual argument is like if you were a if you're in a police uh, in like a dictatorship and I have a, a dissident, the and then the this. bad the government the want to find everyone who's the against them and at, and go, it. hey, you got to give us all the data on all the people who talk shit about me so I can kill them. They can just say yes, that has been yeah, a, that's a study. A, a case has gone forward. So. You'd get me another but can't way. Can't you just put? I would gloat, play and play I would. So you were in a bunch. I would have kept a bunch of trophies. Steph, you said you were in the car confessing. Use the car, murder car. Oh, AI murder car. AI murder car. He's out of there. And but I want wait, who are you clean justice. Yeah, and I've got like a clean Pete foot. Well, You'll justice sucks. Mm. Mm. I've listened to a lot of murder podcasts where that never happens. <laughs> the person just gets away with it. 
Yeah. We've gotten away with it. If you weren't for you damn Murder trolleys. <laughs> your eggs. Don't worry, we're in the one basket. basket. We've got to be near the tail end of the week, aren't we? So the we're Thursday. Into delivery services now. <laughs> they move pretty quick, right? Oh, dear. This was that in the same It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Thursday. Good luck with the new workload. Thanks. Constantly one of getting your promoted. Has no passengers, <laughs> but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype Ooh. with the potential to end Ooh. warming. Fast approach. That's true. Australia has a fucking pretty child in front of a tunnel again. Bad issues. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's that, and that's Should what they were saying that I could just throw a child onto the road and in front of Nick's car, and then his car would go. Yes, it'd go off the cliff. <laughs> Fast approaching. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoever writes these studies comes up with a nice conundrum but can't finish it and goes, uh, and a child and a child tunnel yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fell on a road. You, you have a vaccine. You have a friend. Yeah. If they're already if the if death is already looming, are they not doomed anyway? Ooh, you're getting Is that so not far. some final destination? Yeah, it's definitely that is. it's definitely She survived the AI goes off the road, but then like a Prototype. truck full of logs, to end but global because warming, of global warming, also the, very tough the water has risen so far that you fall into a soft bed of water that's only like a foot. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Also, what kind of future for this child are we giving? I was about to say, her yeah. grandchildren will be will, will be burning uh, uh, under the sun. Well, the, the globe is literally on fire. I mean, the the the. Um, the, the real lesson here is always back up your work. Hang on. This isn't citing when this study was done. This was not a 1789 study into global warming. Am I just... That's yeah, but just they were, in 1789, they were killing a lot of children, so... Yeah, that's, that's true. true. They were leading yeah, what, in Yeah, what that. is 1789? I think you click on that and there's a, there's a bit of reading that relates to this question. Yeah, right. Mm. The child could be we John Connor, says JJ. John Connor. <laughs> John Connor. had to go and collect it. It's another kid on the twelfth. Oh the my board. god, game, Jesus! A statue without a oh, oh! I mean, it is funny though that together. like we. I, I earlier I talked about Overwatch, a game where I shot a bunch of people in the face for a lot, and you beat mm. people up. And <gasps> hey, what is it? I'm going to say it's, 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 it's the kid's backpack. Oh, seriously, that's what this game is doing. It's the it's the book out of the kid. A oh. vegan cookbook. Hey. Why? I want another needle. I'm so confused. These these have to come together at the end, right? Well, I thought we got the needle. A lot. I thought we got the needle because we had to kill someone with a like. Uh, yeah, I thought that so was like a sort of satirical we joke. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem Inc. Tommy Tyrone's Ooh. rotund. Didn't we say we were going to just do one more? Large villain. We're not at the end of the week. We're at the end of week three. We're on Friday. Dog. This is the last. Oh, one. I'm with Seth. I'm with Seth. I thought we got our prize on, uh, on the Friday. Dog. Oh, right. It's like we're wrapping up. Why we're wrapping up the AI. The yep. Sex chapter. Got it. We get a promotion with a letter after yeah. this. I don't know why they keep bringing up the size of these uh, people. It seems. Oh, we're back on the trolley. I think maybe it's trying to tap into people's shitty biases. Maybe. Yeah. A bit like the um. If oh, this is the, trolley the problem. The racism comment. It will stop, or you can stay I'm out of it. five people on the track. Did you never be able to stand in the no. bridge? No. Ideally, he needs medical help. What the hell was that? Oh my god. What? what? Oh my god, the game's tripping out. That was the dead dog. <laughs> what is happening? That was the dead dog. Well, where did the dog? What? What did it push Tommy? Hang on. But this is the this is saying so it's Tom the same fat man problem on the track. Can you use the him? But this one is he organized. No, it was the man we pushed in front. But this is the guy, he organized the five this to die? This is a different guy. This That's is what I'm saying. Brother. Yep. What uh, the hell was that? This is a dead dog. So he's lured people on the track, no, he isn't but he needs medical him. help. Even after the uh, I think you have to push him. Dog? You have to push him. Because he's still, he's st yeah. he still brought five people on here with the intention for them I to die. Yeah. yeah. Like, you have to save those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very large Did he hog tie them all? And did he have a like big top hat on, a maniacal laugh? And a twirly mustache? Yeah. So, okay. Pure evil Tommy. Push him. That dog flash makes me think that this game's starting to yeah, this game's doing some parable shit on us. Mm, yeah. Totally. And the fact that we're looping back to trolley stuff. Let's just see what the next one after this is. No. We killed the <laughs> question. We killed his dog. That dog would have survived if we didn't run it over the trolley. Tell me you'd save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. Oh. He was evil because his dog died. And dead. that's because we killed it. Yeah. There was enough. But we couldn't save it. I but think, he would have become could, evil. I think we could have. Yeah. I think that's I think what the, I was the, saying, the, you guys. Was what I was you're like, saying. if we don't do it. The game established that like it wasn't following the rules of like. Yeah, yeah sure. But we are. Valued customers. We're not we have to. Well, we, yeah, yeah, true. true. <laughs> Chad is. Valued customers. What's that about? Uh, that was the. That was, that the, was the. Um, AI the car AI. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, we could leave this and just 
Every man has his price. Mom. Oh. Now we're done. Good Is the next one trippy? Everyone's getting into subscription <laughs> services. So oh shit! Instead of selling something to someone once, let's. I'm off me trolley. <laughs> let's keep that money rolling in. Yeah, is this Doki Doki level? It like, definitely feels like it's going right, in that it's, direction. I'm gonna keep it's, go, it's gonna start asking you to uninstall system files and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm gonna ask you to kill your. How's dog. your dog? Yeah. I I kind of thought it was gonna be more philosophical problems that were like, you know, a shuttle is leaving for another planet to start a new colony, but who do you take? There's this guy who is an engineer, but also he murdered someone. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Where you have what, yeah. like those kinds of problems, not like. Constantly, these people die or those people die yeah. in horrible ways. <laughs> I figured it would be this because oh, yeah. if it was a yeah. software engineer, you wouldn't take him. No, no, no. especially well, the no. one who designed that car that keeps driving yeah, off cliffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we need to like, raise the kind of resources safety. we have on the new world. Are we going to be able to? Are we taking enough resources to start like, or is it going to be like you know rust? <laughs> Chat. Uh, let's get a poll because Steph just asked an interesting question. Do all software engineer engineers suck? Yep. Uh, and yes, or probably. <laughs> And out of all the people needing to go on that uh, shuttle to the new planet, everyone's like, what do you do? It's like, I'm a surgeon. I'm a lawyer. All that. And one man's like, I'm a trolley engineer. And these are really <laughs> like, uh, we could leave him here. I, I developed Fine. the trolley experiment video game. Um, <laughs> uh, the uh, Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, it's interesting. That was uh, I was watching chat throughout that, and there were lots of divergent opinions. I mean, there was lots of divergent <laughs> opinions about what we should do in each time. But <clears throat> it was also interesting. I saw some people who were, like, not enjoying the game, which is totally fine. Um because of the death stuff? Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's just like unpleasant content to, to think about. I guess. Also, it wasn't like it, like it was, I would say, clumsy in its framing of a lot of stuff. Mm. Mm. Unless it pays off. I think it totally pays off. I don't like, think it necessarily has yet, but I think it could build to something that you're like, because oh, right, Because I think, I think all the problems were totally straight. Mm. Like yeah. some of them were... Like they were all advances on themselves, but, the, but none of them were like, you can save this one... Like one person who is great in bed or kill, you know, like it's not like there's no sort of like there were no stupid ones. All yeah. the flavor was around that. And then I think it probably started. I, I want to do a bit of research weird. or play a bit more. Like I'm intrigued. I reckon this game gets all crazy and yeah, weird and, and starts playing off all those decisions we've made. Because I, I appreciate that at least was trying to do something to I tie think, back I to think a previous I question. I think I would have preferred if it threw in some of those questions peppered throughout some less intense ones. Because I find that I just. That is an onslaught of of stuff that is difficult for horrible. me to kind of yeah, yeah. Of horrible to, that is difficult for me to like want to keep playing. I get, yeah, that's the that's the thing of hypotheticals though. It's like it's the idea of playing in that realm. Yeah, I like that stuff because yeah, you, you could also doing. you could also have the. Do you want to fight a hundred duck size? Ducks. One, <laughs> duck size, one, duck size, one, duck size yeah, and and I would if every now and again it surprised me with a with an awful one. I'd be like, oh shit, okay, and then and then I feel like you could still have the same. Payoff of whatever mm. it's working towards with those ones oh, no, kind of peppered okay, throughout something fair enough. dark. Cause, cause yeah. this is, I think this is kind of what I don't like about half of Black Mirror, where I'm just like, I like the ones that are clever and make you think and are a bit dark and and hold a mirror to society and all that kind of stuff. But when it's just awful scenario mm. and it ends awful and it's just awful the whole way through, I'm like, why did I watch that? I I, to I totally you know? <laughs> know what you mean with that. <clears throat> I'm I think I'm with Gus on this, where I go like doing something like that is going is actually making me go like what are my priorities what are what my values like what are my yeah, yeah what yeah. like what is actually when i'm faced with something like that even though i won't be faced with that exact problem hopefully sure like yeah. whereas the hundred ducks whatever whatever yeah. i'm just like my answer doesn't mean anything because it's just that, like that large extreme choice. unrealistic hypothetical filters down into small little elements of yourself yeah. that you can take and look at and slightly think oh, okay maybe that's something that i can do or change or is interesting in my life but it's <laughs> i'm not going to walk home and look and just see a big trolley handle and be like nah. yeah. north darkwood <laughs> north darkwood puts it perfectly do i really need to see the pm squirrel pig so that was the episode where after that i made peter watch them all first and was like can you tell me the synopsis of each one and if you think i'll like it <laughs> <laughs> you were better. I, might, season one was I good. might be misremembering, but I thought that was season one, ep one. It was. It was, it was, it was the first, first episode. Yeah. It's the thing that got everyone watching. So she, but it she, was that I it love was, pig fucking. It was that one, and then there was the like pedophile episode. Yeah, which well. was like season four or something. That was the worst one. That was the one where I fell off and I stopped what, watching. What was the message of that? Like that was. Yeah, that was a terrible. Was episode. that the, the that was kids the kid. being harassed over online? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Was that was because because it was like the whole thing was stressful, and then the punch at the end is just the worst. The worst reveal ever. Uh, was the worst reveal 
ever. Was there less to take from it and self reflection or like the way you? Yeah, think? yeah it was, that's it was like, like I was going to say that makes a bad episode the, of that. The thing, like the point of the episode was internet dangerous. Yeah, right. and the and the and the setup for it was that this poor person is getting harassed for fifty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, right. And you're watching like, like them slowly fall apart and just like genuinely awful things happening to them. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then there's some of the greatest episodes of television. Oh That's my true. God. Totally. <laughs> yeah, San Junipero, yeah. Um, Nosedive, which the is Bryce Dallas Howard one. I haven't seen that one. The, uh, San Junipero is, is the brain. one with uh, Mackenzie Davis where they go into oh, yeah. like the... Yep, um, yep, 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 yep. It's, uh, it's nice. And the one where you can get your spouse back. It's got like an 80s vibe to it. Like yeah, right. make the robot spouse. Oh, yeah. It was great. And the memory record everything blinking... The child, the one that with it, where she could make the child not see bad things or whatever, that was a, that was a cool. That was a cool well. one. Oh, I didn't mm. see that yeah. one. My favorite is still that. the fact that my dad watched all of Bandersnatch, not realizing Amazing. he could choose. That is hands. the best story. <laughs> Because it auto that picks for you. Story. I've told that story before, but it auto picks if you don't do anything. And if he just watched, he's like, "I like Black Mirror." Four hours later, he's like half asleep on the couch, being like, "It keeps going." <laughs> he had no idea. That's so Love funny. It. Amazing. And results of the poll: all software engineers suck. Uh, yes, twenty-eight percent. Maybe seventy-two percent. Fair enough. Okay, there you go. Fair enough. Uh, okay, cool. We're going to be back with more back pocket over this shop break. <laughs> Right, I have two design pieces to finish off, so much other work to do, no distractions. I need to get this done. Hmm, maybe just one game. Right, keep to the left, keep to the left. Come on, help me! Ah, come on! <laughs> Ironic. You of all people asking me that. Because we killed her. Let's say I've seen enough empires rise and fall. They'll feel regular as seasons. I fucked my way through Pompeii. All this so-called life. Well, I ain't never sold to a pig man afore. There's certain words that force you back into the accent. I ain't never sold to a pig man afore. I ate a lot of humans this time as well. Yeah, see, there's your Woody. That's cute. What am I doing? Take charge. I don't have enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I shall make that strength mine. Prepare yourself. I'm prepared. I was not prepared. He threw my barrel at me. What a dickhead. A. Timothy B. Timothy C. Timothy D. Timothy E. Timothy F. Timothy G. Timothy Q. Timothy I. Timothy J. Timothy K. K. Timothy Elemen Timothy Oh, Timothy. P. Timothy. Q. Timothy. R. Timothy. S. Timothy. T. Timothy. U. Timothy. V. Timothy. We. Timothy. X. Timothy. Y. Timothy. Z. Timothy. A. Timothy. Keep them separated.
<laughs> it's like when you learn the start of any song, it's like, I can play that opening chord. It's like, yeah. down, 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 down. Ding, ding. Yeah, and then you're like, ding, I, ding, I don't know ding. the rest. <laughs> uh, thank you very much there to Coastal City and Black Death uh, for the words from our sponsors. And of course, A Timothy for your support. Hey. Thank you so much, A Timothy. Uh, B Timothy, C Timothy, all the Timothys. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, speaking of support, before we move on to the Patreon t shirt reveal for the last three months, the new merch that we'll be sending out to the wear back tier or above, uh, we do, of course, need to thank someone else who's been supporting us for low these many weeks, months. Could be years, we don't know. Could be years. Long time. <laughs> yeah, it is true. It's either been two weeks or two years. Feels like. A dream. PC. Da, 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 da. You dream it. We build it. Thank you very much to Dream PC. If you are looking for a new PC to play uh, that very basic trolley problem game or something more advanced <laughs> like Overwatch 2 Beta, and if you have a PC that can run Overwatch 1, it can probably already work. Anyway, this isn't about how much Overwatch 2 is like Overwatch 1. This is about Dream PC. You can get easy to configure PCs via their website, bespoke systems that are built to order. They're an authorized Australian market parts reseller. Live updates via their build tracker, and they have phenomenal warranty and service st uh, service services. What's the word I'm looking for? Survive, plural. Survive, thank you very much. Uh, go <laughs> go.dreampc.com.au forward slash back pocket. We'll give you more information about the kind of PCs that you can get in your home if you are looking for an upgrade. We implore you, shop back pocket. It's a, it's a twist on Shop Australian, Shop mm -hmm. Local, Shop Back Pocket, Dream PC. Watches this show. They are in chat probably are, right now. They are our only business pocket partner, which they're currently having run of the mill of that segment. They are like, that was that's open to other things. But Dream PC at the moment, just loving, just getting all the attention, mm -hmm. all the plugs, all the adequate ad space that they deserve as a great sponsor. See what I did? I was kind of moving on a downward trajectory. Yeah. I pulled that trolley handle and I ran yeah, it all the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was kind of, it was, I'm just saying, that's like I made that little sticker at the top and I'm like, I love that you they have- You want to put it on more business. I want to put it on oh, more. Okay, yes. give me one business that you would like to promote. Food-based things would be good because we probably get a that's bunch true. of free samples. Trolley-based AI. Excellent. Uh, so if you need a new PC, then we implore you, shop back pocket and go to Dream PC to get your brand new computer. Uh, okay, let's get to the part where everyone gets something. When I say everyone, I mean people on the way back to you or above because it's been three months since the last T-shirt. Yes. The last shirt was... This one? No, Martha is dead. Oh, Martha's it was two. Martha yeah. is dead. Marta Emorta. Marta Emorta. Have you thought about that game since you played it? A couple of times, okay, yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. Still making an impression. Was that this year? It just took it. Just took, you know what I think about though? I think about that bike. That wonky, that wonky bike. That wonky bike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was just. It was like a, for the f for one moment in that game when I was riding that bike, I was there in Italy. Do you know what Doing I mean? Doing the little like, yeah, I was like yeah. trying to keep it on the road. It was just. It was. And you the didn't best. feel like that in the horse in Nightfall. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I was driving it. <laughs> uh, so, Gus, can you give us the backstory on totally. the, uh, the new item of clothes? Yeah, so uh, a design actually popped up on Discord at one point from uh, back pocketeer Dion, who made an amazing design based off uh, a classic call that is now a catchphrase of the show. And I saw it and I was like, this is amazing. And I've had fun designing things for the show and I think mm. we'll keep doing some in the future but I thought I'd reach out to Dion and say hey this is such a great design could we tweak it a little bit and maybe make that the uh, the latest Patreon wear back tier uh, merch on a t-shirt and that's what we did so uh, I give you the skip 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 I just want the wave mode designed by Dion long sleeve T nice. uh, it is a wonderful throwback to a sort of 80s I don't want to say actually early 90s yeah uh, like 90s. with that like pastel design yeah. it's just so damn good uh, and so so uh, Dion's got a little signature down the bottom there and we think it looks best on a, a long sleeve tee. So um, we'll be reaching out to the people who are part of that tier and uh, getting making sure their details are still correct and organizing um, them to be shipped out. But yeah, this is such a great design. I just like, I've ordered it on a t-shirt for myself, uh, but then we locked off that new design and we're like, that's going to be the one there. So massive thank you to Dion, who is a, a tremendous designer and also a, a sponsor of the show. So yeah. I and the signature to... is in the yellow. Yeah, yeah, it's down the bottom, down there. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. cool. So it's like got a little signature down the bottom and it doesn't come up great on screen. But, squint, um, yeah, great. If you squint, it'll come up better in the actual print. So again, massive <laughs> thanks. Like Dion surfing is... Pete. <laughs> well, surfing Pete does not come with the t-shirt, I apologize. We should make a Pete bobblehead. That would, that would work well. But uh, yeah, so anyone who, I think if you yeah, sign up to that tier, between now and is there still a window for if you want that T-shirt? Uh, yes, if they sign up 
today. Yeah, to before, before the May. end of the month, it okay. should. It, you then will work for three months. That's a lot of work for Ben, but he'll figure it out. That's fine. Um, uh, yes, you can. So if you sign up over the next couple of days, then and start that tier, then in three months' time, you will get that shirt. There you go. Uh, but yeah, it's phenomenal. Uh, and Dion's work. Uh, we've seen a lot of Dion's work just in the creative channel in um, the Discord, but also Dion made the donut poster that is in the background of my uh, office. Nice. Yeah, up on it's my like wall. A, the pockety kind of yeah. like old 30s style yes. eeriness. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, Awesome so. design. And yeah, just saw that and was like, we have to go with that design this month because it's or this three months because it's bloody awesome. So thank and you And today that. is their birthday apparently, says Lord. What? Christmas. What? Lord. Happy birthday. Happy well, we're, birthday. We're shipping you a shirt. <clears throat> For your birthday. Ha, ah, ha, 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 ha. We don't do that here. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you tonight? So I don't know. I mean, just you didn't have COVID, just, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, sometimes just something something happens here and then it just sticks around for the whole show. It's, it's that annoying. big milkshake you have before you get on, sh- on set. True. Uh, all right, that is the end of the show. Thank you very much, everyone, for hanging out. Uh, we did the Patreon show. We did the games. We talked about the video games. We did the donuts. We did the Aussie broadband. I think we're entirely covered. None of this would have been possible without uh, the hardworking mods who made sure that the chat was a lovely place to be. That is Gat, Syntax, Eric, Kit, Carnage, Liz Dahlia, Sith Cat, Phoenix, Alliance, Disturb, 778, Jex, Caboose, and What the Shark. Thank you so much for your work. Ben's there as well, but Ben's an employee, so Big Ben doesn't get a thank you in that list anymore. And neither does Will. Yeah, neither does Will. But thank you. You're, you're not but a mod, you, Thank you, Ben. Um, no, no, I'm good. I'm thank good. You, ben. I don't need to. I mean, that wasn't an offer. No. <laughs> you're not a mod. I'm good. No, no thanks. <laughs> no. Uh, and of course, a massive thank you to all our back pocket patrons who make the show possible. A huge thank you to our top stitches. Uh, you know who you are, uh, but you are going to know who they are if you don't know who they are, because Gus is going to tell you exactly who they, who are. they are. <clears throat> All right. Uh, a special thank you to all our patrons, including <coughs> the latest in winter cutoff shorts are here, and now they come as both a noshi or a nishi. Perfect for showing off those lily white shins or a nishi. Or a nishi. Oh no, I told you to invite Mason, not Nathan. He's going to bring his pet snake and he's going to wind up drunk, crying about his ex and how he invested all his money into Toxicoin. Oh, this party's going to suck. I really miss Nathan. Uh, Mason, damn it. <laughs> Stuff that up. Uh, sir, do you have. That was Mason, not Nathan. No, 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 I know. I said I can't tell if that was a bit. Ah, oh, it wasn't. Uh, so do you have any idea how fast you were ponking back there? Look, I'm going to let you off with a warning, but just please remember, slow ponk, stay safe, get home safe. <laughs> uh, you saw the research that uh, Mid of Fanfare did. Turns out that that god swimming stuff actually works. So get those handsome Akarash lawyer boys on the line. We've got a cashed up date here to milk. It's Akarash, everyone. Uh, he's given us given up the weighted blanket life, now only covers his lap with transparent materials like glad wrap and fly screen. Sure, the insulation sucks, but there's no sneaking up on this little boy. He's prepared. He's no. Nick really put the pressure on Boxy's business last uh, week when he started up his rival company, Foxy Box. So when you're on the market for a box, don't fall for a flashy company with unnecessary title cards. Support a box brand you can trust. Trust Boxy. He puts the C-U-T-I-N-E in city. It's up to us to put in the rest of the letters. It's Coastal City. <laughs> Attention travellers, the Vega bus is not coming due to disruptions to the Tullamarine line. Please seek alternative party transportation. We do apologise for any inconvenience this may have caused. Beep, beep, beep. <clears throat> A. Timothy, head to counter, 17. B. Timothy, head to counter, oh, 21. RMS. C. Timothy, it goes on. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Jep. Join the dog army. That finally makes sense. <laughs> I wrote here, I hope, <laughs> but it did. So there we go. Uh, evil spy boy dreams of being an evil spy man, just like his evil spy father, but his evil spy mother says she's proud of him just the way he evil spy is. Uh, we may all be robots one day, but if those robots are still have opposable robot thumbs, we're still going to need robot controllers. They may as well be custom controllers to bring some joy back into our dull robotic lives. So we are all happy robots. Hey, can you tell I can I tell you about the weirdest dream I had last night? What do you mean you're not interested? But it was so crazy. I dreamt I built a PC, but it had like human limbs it was voiced by like bobcat goldthwaite oh, i was so real what are you doing where are you going come back it gets better dream pc your dreams suck but their pcs are great looking for the hottest thing in cryptocurrency invest in toxicoin today each toxicoin mind allows you to value it validate another toxicoin miners transaction before then putting that toxicoin into your toxic wallet to an accumulative interest with each future exchange between another toxicoiner as long as that transaction pertains to old queen albums and ripped flash fishnet leggings 
Chuck's a chalk. <coughs> <laughs> Reese used to get told that he had rocks in his head by his teacher. Well, look at Reese now, Mrs. Kapunkel. He's the lead ro- researcher for an obscure online variety show about video games. So who was really wasting whose parents' school fees? Yeah. I don't care. Uh, I don't care if the music I use in video games was legally the property of Disney. I'm not saying another word until I get to speak to my Buri Buri. Buri Buri. With her in my corner, I can break any creative law I want. <laughs> oh. And finally, we don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. All we need is just another brick in the wallsy. Hey. Well, well done! I was prepared this time. Amazing. Uh-oh. What Great was work. the name of the teacher? Mrs. Kapunkel. Mrs. Kapunkel. <laughs> you said Mrs. Kapunkel to me earlier today. I said Crandall. You said, oh, of course. How did I get those two things confused? Mrs. There you Kapunkel. Go. Yep. Uh, good work, Gus. She was a prep teacher of mine. Oh, she's a real person? Oh, yeah. And I Crandall. thought you just made that up. Crandall Simpson's line. Kapunkel was my year. Kapunkel is a real is person. Kapunkel is a real person. Miss, person. Miss Kapunkel. She was my year two. Uh, <laughs> my Crandall's a Simpson line. <laughs> Kapunkel's the one you're after. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, right. Oh, my God. Uh, she married an AFL footballer and changed her name, so we only got her as Mrs. Kapunkel for like she the first half. Wait to do that. Probably. <laughs> yeah. His name was uh, something funny. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. If you want to become a member of the Patreon, then head to patreon.com forward slash back pocket. It is literally the reason we get to make this show every single week. Your support is invaluable. We thank you so much. If you have any money that you have spare lying around that you want to throw away to support, This entire operation, we appreciate it. If you don't have any money, that is totally fine. I mean, it's awful that you don't have any money, but it's fantastic uh, if you just share us with your friends, uh, post a clip, retweet a thing, like a post, whatever it is that you do on social media. Share the game plan. Share the game plan. Come on. Share the game plan. Do you have any idea how much work she puts into that? How much work do you put into that? Well, I don't know. I go through all the games and I try and get a sense of what they're like and I write a little funny line about yeah. them. And It's like a good hour, hour and a half or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. And then Will does beautiful things with it. Will does a bunch of stuff. That's like at least <laughs> half a day of work, of, of, of solid person hours I, being put into that. Company. I did a, a sword in the stone gag today and, and Will made it n- fancy with shiny things and a sword sound. I was very impressed. Wasn't expecting. Is <laughs> <laughs> more? Is more? He's, He's like, stop, job. stop looking at me. It's literally what we pay him for. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes sometimes oh, I record yeah. my phone to get the YouTube comments. Really? Well, That's true. Yeah. Sometimes I, yeah. I mind the YouTube comments for little funny gags and stuff, and then I'm like, Will, go find this comment in the YouTube thing. But you do the research so they're informed, mm. and Will puts in the flavor so they're entertained. Yeah, we're a great team. There you go. There you go. So like this great team's content. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Head to backpocket.gg.com <laughs> for more of his proclivities. <laughs> yeah, every time, every time I, I, that comes running out of my mouth, and I'm like, God, I hope I say proclivities correctly. Is it the proclivities or the things you kept on your bunk bed from the other week? Uh, your oh, accoutrement. 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 <laughs> but it's said with a little limp for I, it does with your big gangly fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I found your whiteboard today from last week, and you did not spell accoutrements. You wrote A and then. A line. A line. <laughs> a squiggly line. <laughs> Allow me to spell it. Still, yeah. Didn't matter what camera looked right. what your accoutrement are. Accoutrement like, is uh, uh, your brick brack. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Brick or brack? Yeah, your Your flotsam and jetsam. Your flotsam and jetsam is exactly what I was thinking. Fucking hell. <laughs> I, I finished the show, I read Lord of the Rings and heard of flotsam and jetsam running down the river and I was like, those characters haven't come back. <laughs> I genuinely thought as a kid that flotsam and jetsam were two characters. I'm like, they never came back. Uh, accoutrement is, is like something additional that you have or wear. So it's like... Uh, I think I think that it could be like a sword. <laughs> I know what the word means. Oh, sorry. I, I'm asking specifically what, what you're are your Oh, what am I? Because, oh, right. because there was a moment where you were like, uh, and this benefits everyone because you can because I will have this um, bunk yeah. bed and you can yeah. share my accoutrement. So I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that is a good deal depending on what your accoutrement is. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I, Do no, I no, want to share in it or I think, not? I think to be, and I could be wrong, but definitely what I meant was, because I also said there were snacks, so you could you could share the snacks, but the accoutrement yeah. are mine. <laughs> You've reached over. <laughs> my accoutrement. Yeah. So, oh, well, when, then I need to rethink the whole bunk bed situation. When a hand, I've got I've got creams and leathers <laughs> for shoes. Do you keep? Them? Oh, they come for shoes as well. Like my my, my leathers and creams. Like my shoes. You like my shoes. <laughs> oh, we're spiraling. Oh God, have we still got the post show? All right, <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. Back it out. Woo!